Bonacci. Yes, mommy. Take. Mommy, mommy, I want. Don't worry. Yours is inside. Where is Jasmine? She's inside sleeping. You can sit here and eat. What? Talk to me, what happened? Are you okay? No, I... I just had a dream. Okay, what, what happened in the dream? You tried to kill your sister's kids. God forbid! You tried to poison them. I reject it. Honey, what sort of dream is that? I, I can't really tell. So in that dream, you... You know what? It's... It's not a funny dream. It's a very scary dream. Honestly, I think you need to book an appointment with the doctor. Me. A daisy. Poison Chidima's kids. My own sister. No, that's not possible. It, it's okay, it's, it's uh, just, it's only a dream, but it was, it was real. But you know I love kids, right? So why on earth would I want to poison my sister's it, kids? I, it's okay, it, I, it's okay. not real, it's, it just looked real in my dream, okay? It's, it's a nightmare. Honey. It's alright. You need to see the pastor. This... Babe, I just had a dream, it's not real, alright? It's, it's fine, let's... I'm not accusing you of anything. I just said... I saw you in my dream trying to poison your sister's kids and that's a bit weird. Okay, can we sleep back? Yeah, now? sure. Honey? Yeah? Let's sleep. Yeah, sure. you ask me to shut up? Who are you? Eh? Do you know me? Who are Did you? you ask questions? Who are you? Do you know I who I am? Are you? Who are you? I, I, look, look, you... Uncle, 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 sit down, please. We are not here to fight anymore. Just allow me to talk to this old fool. You are the one fighting. You are the old fool. You, you, see. Keep quiet, both of you. Keep quiet. What is all this? Sit down. Let's discuss why we are here. Nene, Bobon, Chrissy. Hired elder. Nene. Let me talk to this big fool. Give me a tiny fool. It's an okay to child. Our in law. You said you are no longer interested in marrying our daughter. Like I said before, 
I am no longer interested in marrying her. Oh, he has said it again. Said what? Is he begging you to concur? Just like that. Are you okay? Eh? You think you can stand in the presence of the elder and just say you don't... What did she do to you? Explain to us. That's what we want to hear. So she must not do anything before I return her to her parents' house. Oh. Uh -uh. No, I don't understand. You're no longer interested in marrying her. After two children. Over two healthy, beautiful children. A boy and a girl and a child talk. Hey, one one. Bano. I won't take this one. This is unacceptable by me. I won't take it. Woman, keep quiet. Oh, yeah, no more. Enough. Enough. And then me will give. Let her talk. She has mouth. Talk! Talk! Shall we come to you? If you're recording. Borrowed uncle. I will go back for you. You know, I'm the elder. And you're in a form. I'm going to sleep with glasses and hope. I am no longer interested in marrying her. She can go with the kids. I said I don't want. Eh? I'd rather go to her than stay in this marriage. Eh, eh! That is your new house! Yes! He got it going to hell, Kampu! Where is the Waraka? Naria! Go there and burn to ashes. That is where you rightfully belong. It's a lie! It's a lie! In fact, you should go to that hell and burn with him. I bank it deserve no. My brother's son cannot go to hell. The ghosts of the land cannot permit it. Ne ne ghosts. Ndi ma ghosts. Onye mehe ne me ghosts. Ezalu, he came to break to somebody's marriage. Ina ko ghosts. E mo ne ka ghosts a born or ewu. No, why? Are you married? Are you supposed to be here? Elders are in a meeting. You are a woman. You supposed to go inside. So give me a bumbo kena. Give me a borrow a borrow a bumbo kena. Look at this woman. No. O me enjoy. If you are the elder. Enough. So, from Uzgo, why did you decide to bring my daughter back to my house? I want to know. She did not do anything. I don't just want the marriage anymore. Don't play jokes on me here. Hi! Are you mad? I am not mad, sir. I said I'm no longer interested. I am not. Can you be talking to me like that? Kenneth, you don't need to pull these stunts. So you drove all the way from the city, eh? To this place to embarrass yourself. Are you thinking embarrassing me? You know me now. I cannot be embarrassed. Chedema, I am here to tell your people officially that I am no longer interested. Period. Remove that thing from your eyes. If you have turned blind suddenly, since you came here, you used that black something and blocked your eyes. It's not able to give it to this angry so that he can see. He will, I don't know. He, he, has he turned blind? Hey! Can I take your mama? If I'm not coming, I'm going to go. Abuja, Abuja, Buru, Brainy, Brain Boss, yeah, Garaga. My daughter is very special to me, and I'm very sure she did not do anything to you. But my only regret is giving my daughter to a baby boy. Look, 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 look at this. My happiness is that you have opened your mouth and said it before everybody that our daughter did not do anything to you. You said in the presence of this Abino, Abino uncle. You said it. That's my happiness. Yes. Um, young man, we have had you. And we are going to prepare the bright prize we paid on her head. And invite you to come and collect it. Okay? Ah, very good. Very good. Thank you very much. You have just said the right thing. Uh, if two people that are living together don't want to live together again, it is not by force. Just like this woman. I don't know how this guy is managing her. Oh, come back. Say what you come for. Say what you come for. That is the right thing you have said. I have so bad. For you to have brought this left handed man to my house as an end law. Are you seeing us? The only explanation in all this drama is that this young man has a spiritual wife. It and that is, I can see it from his eyes. Mommy, what? That is what the God forbid it is so that has a spiritual wife. You are my left hand. For you are my left hand, 
Be careful. You my head behind. You cannot find a point to your nose. Yeah, I, I, I will scatter your head with you. Uncle? Oh, wow. Hey! Wow! <laughs> All this for me? Oh, wow! Thank you very much, my son. You are the true son of your father. Omeka <laughs> Nia! Uncle, Uncle, I'm so happy the way you handle everything there. I'm so impressed. Uh, so the way you were gingery telling the, you know, I'm so yeah. impressed. Eh? Uh, you no, know? Nobody can force any man to take a bad wife. Yeah. Nobody. Yes, uh, just forget about that one. Uh, but my son, you did not tell me what that girl did do. You only called me on phone that uh, you want to take her back to her parents. Uh, what did she do? Uncle, forget that one. In due time, I will let you know. Uh -huh. eh? But for now, let me go and drop you. Eh? Okay, okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, my son. Mm. <laughs> Kenneth, I don't understand. What nonsense are you talking about? Listen, how could you do that without telling me? What are you saying? Listen, I, I told you to wait, God damn it! Fine. No one is asking you not to get married to Angela, but you can't do that now! Kenneth, I made you who you are. I gave you that house. I know how many times you have gone to Brazil because of me. So you listen to me when I talk to you. I'm your older brother. You know what? Just come to my office right now. Hello? Hello? Myself. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. There is nothing to explain. Leave my house right now! Kenneth, there is nothing to explain. No, tell me! How could you do this to me? Kenneth, you are married with two kids. How dare you? Lie to me! Kenneth! There is nothing to explain. Leave here, now! I'm sorry. Just sit down. Let me explain to you. Just please, don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. I don't want to hear this stupid explanation. I don't want to hear it. All I want you to do right now is to leave this place. Get the hell out of my house! I said I'm sorry. There is nothing to sorry about. Kenneth, how could you do this to me? You hid your marital affair away from me. We dated in abroad. We came back to Nigeria. Only for me to find out that you're married with two kids. Kenneth, I swear to God, if you don't live here in this minute, I will kill, I will do something classic to you. Live here. Let me just explain to you. Please. Explain. Please. What do you want to explain to me? No, tell me. What do you want to explain to me, Kenneth? Live here. Let me be fine of you with this, with this bottle. You are this human. of marriage, two kids, that is not even possible. It's not possible. Okay, tell me, how can you just return to the country, drive straight to the village, start telling my parents that he's no longer interested, interested in the marriage? Why? It's not even like they were having issues. Really? He's not taking my calls. He's nowhere to be found. I'm 
confused. What kind of wicked act is that? This is so heartbreaking. Why? Imagine, Kenneth that I bought clothes for. I fed Kenneth. I made sure he was fine under my roof. What did he pay me back? My sister got back from school. He climbed her, got her pregnant, molested her. As if that wasn't enough. I was actually trying to keep my cool because of you. Right now, I don't care if he's your brother. Tell Kenneth that it's better he comes back, take my sister and the kids. If not, heaven will let loose. Rubbish. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Your brother is snobbing my cause. Ken is not taking my cause. See, I'm going to do something drastic. I'm going to do something that if anybody hears it, nobody is going to blame me. Was this what he promised me? Was this how he promised to take care of my sister? Now, Kelvin, answer me. Ada, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. Please, I promise to find a way around this entire situation. But first, you need to calm down. You can't keep yelling every time. You need to relax. Gosh, I've suffered. I've really suffered. So my own sister, little Chidima, will now be a baby mama. Eh? A divorcee. Really? See? Kelvin, I asked you to send this boy to Brazil when he wanted to travel. You refused. Now see it. He has turned my sister to a baby mama. But your sister asked you to calm down. You need to relax. Yelling or screaming is not going to solve anything. We need to put heads together and ensure everything is fine. Please. going to calm down. But you need to call your brother. You need to bring him here. Let's iron this out. He cannot leave my sister like that. It cannot happen. And I was just calling my brother before you walked in. Like I said, you need to calm down. I'll put a call across to him. I'll invite him over. And I promise to settle this, this problem once and for all. Please. You need to calm down. Babe, this dude has a wife and two kids. Yes, he kept it away from me all this while. How I find out? A woman from the neighborhood told me, even with pictures, he did not deny anything, Annabelle. He did not. Man. Ah! Man. I'm telling you, God will punish some men in a very ruthless way. Yes, so. I have thrown the engagement ring a long time ago. I have thrown it away. Uh-uh. You don't trust me, babe? I have done that. I swear I can't... Yes, I want to be left alone. I don't want to see him. I don't even want to see him near my house. Do you know that I rejected a lot of men? A lot of suitors all because of this dude. 
Yes. I just want to be left alone. I don't want him to even come close to me. I want him to stay on his lane. All I want to do right now is to go back to Brazil. That's my plan. Yes. All right now. Take care. We'll talk later. All right. Man. Man will always be man. Hey, Tineke. They have laughed and laughed and laughed so hard. I just wish I wake up from this ugly dream. My daughter doesn't deserve this wickedness. What has she done to deserve this wickedness? Look at her fine, fine children. Woman, let me think. Please, just let me think. Let me think. Please, stop. Is it not better than bringing her back in, 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 in casket? Please, just stop. Just like that? Chai! My husband. Just like that! You see, God, God will judge Kenneth and his generation. God will judge that boy. That is what I believe in. God will judge him. You never know peace in his life. Chidima. Papa. So you, you, you don't have issue with your husband? No, Papa, we never had any issues at all. So he just came from from, from, from Brazil and decided to pack up the marriage? Yes. Yes, now. You have seen it. White Brazilian girl says she can go and get walking and walking in one. Blast that bomb bomb. He didn't see this one. No, I don't do it. Bomb bomb, he did not see it. All that plastered wakiri wakiri bomb bomb call for her family, she very she so who call so huh? I forgot his own family. It will not be well with Kenneth. See Kenneth, that boy will suffer. Hey, hey, whoa! But it, it's alright, Papa. It's fine. I you don't have to bother yourself. Don't bother like me like this. I'm not bothered. Mm -hmm. There mm -hmm. must be something. Something wrong somewhere. We, we, we have to look for... There's something wrong somewhere. Just like that, you know. It's like a movie to me. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. So stop bothering yourself. Just let it be. It's like a movie. No matter that, it's like a movie. Ha! Chine again, Nambo. Kenneth will never see any woman better than my daughter. He will never see any woman, whoever he wants to go and marry tomorrow, will be beneath the legs and the, and the, and the being of, uh, of Chidima, my daughter. See my daughter, oh? Stay with her sister comfortably. Her sister is catering for her, taking care of her, providing for her. He came from nowhere to impregnate her. As if that was not enough, the heart as if I was going to die. He pleaded for mercy and, and, and forgiveness. We forgave him and he asked for her hand in marriage. We obliged him. We say, marry her. I personally say, make sure she's happy in your house. After just my second baby, he said he's no longer interested. No problem. God will judge. My God will judge you, Kenneth. You will never know peace like I told you earlier. The man will get away peace. I'm happy. Chidima, you're still good. You, you, it's not as if you have two children already. You are still intact. So you will see a better man that will deserve your body. This is your shape. You will marry. Don't worry yourself. Nonsense. Why go your brain box? No problem. It is well. No. 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 I know people have no reason. Let me go and make you something to eat. Oh. It's on my mom. Hey. You know Marie Chang Wan. You know Marie Chang Wan.
she pregnant? Who impregnated you? Sister Mpore, Mpore is sister. Honey, allow me to break this girl's head. Who impregnated you? Sister, it's the work of the devil. They will kill you. I was trying to save this girl. I was trying to save her from all these useless boys. What did she do? She went out, opened her legs like, 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 like. Honey, oh, just funny, leave me alone. Stop. Start talking now. Student or lecturer, who got you pregnant? I'm sorry, sister. Please forgive me. Yeah. Who got you pregnant? Can you stop? Babe, what's wrong with you? After all the money I spent, spent to take you to the uni, you disappointed me. Start talking. Who impregnated you? Babe, can you relax? What is wrong with you? Can you pull yourself together? Finish. Can you just relax? Just relax and let me handle things my way. Please. Fine. She should just say who impregnated her. That's all I want. Just relax. She's trying to speak. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come here. Come close. <laughs> what happened? How did you get pregnant? How did you get pregnant? Are you not the one that asked him? Ada? Ada, can you just keep quiet? Honey, I'm quiet. Start speaking. Go ahead. How did you get pregnant? Okay. Who got you pregnant? Yes. Who? This is not the you. It's Kenneth. Kenneth? I'm sorry. You're sorry about what? Kenneth. What have you been doing in this house? Kenneth. You impregnated my only sister. Kenneth, after all I did for you in this house, your brother and I were planning for you to go to Brazil, and how you could pay me back? Hey, you impregnated my only babe, sister. Stop it, babe. Babe. Kenneth, you're babe. Babe. Only babe, listen, you you are dead. Honey, leave me. Can you pull yourself together? This dog! Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh my god, under my roof! Honey, oh, just leave me alone, I'm babe, finished. Babe, listen, come here, come here, oh, yeah. just wait. Wait, 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 put your hand. Kenneth! Ada! Ada, this is not a marketplace for crying out loud. You have neighbors, they're hearing you. Finished, I'm finished. Oh. Ada, listen to me, I understand your pain. Listen, just calm down. Can you just relax? Just leave me. Your brother is a dog. I know he's a dog. Under my roof. That's fine. I didn't see but you, you can't. I didn't see this coming. Honey, leave me alone. Adda, leave Adda, me. Look, listen, Adda, <sighs> Adda, pull yourself together. It's but can you? Not true. Tell me it's not true. Babe, <sighs> hey, listen, listen to me. Finished. Can I get some water to drink? Let's go get some water. Let's go get some water. Let's go get some water. Let's get some water. Let's get some water. You must marry my daughter. You cannot put her in a family where all poor. And that your land is alright. Obolo ona 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 kene muno oba ase ega nuya. And you must make sure she's comfortable in your house because how they will comfortable for you to say shape or shape we banye. You must marry her in Osiaya. Okay, see there can you work poor? So now you throw gonna go man my broom or run your my yeah. I call the bag and azuno giga mepe. I will have run the money, but I will be the pick I would have given you, eh? Got no problem. Um <clears throat> my in-laws. I understand that passions are high. Everyone is angry. My wife and I are equally very, very upset. And we have decided to come here today to do the right thing. My brother has committed an abomination. My father raised me well. My father married my mother the right way. My wife and I, we have decided that Kenneth must marry Chidima because he put her in a family way. My in-laws, 
I understand Chirima is still in school, but I promise you that it will never affect her education. I promise to cater for everything. The wedding, her education, and I also promise to give them a house. Fact, no, no, wait, I want to ask. That she'll be way taken care of. Is it the reason she was impregnated? Please. We have wronged you. I know you're very upset with us. But we have come to apologize. Please forgive us. My brother made a mistake, but we cannot throw him away. That is why we have come to do the right thing. Thank you very much, my in-laws. You're welcome. <clears throat> um, in-laws, when you beat a child with the right hand, you correct the same child with the left hand. Uh, as you can see, they are still young. I'm bound to make mistakes. So please, forgive and accept us. Please. Wait, are we talking about marrying Chidema to the same family? Our tradition is not against it. No, it is not. A brother-in-law can still marry a sister-in-law. And as it is in their case, it is delicate, very delicate, as she already has the seed of Kenneth in her womb. So, let us allow them. They already agreed to become man and wife. If you try to separate them or do otherwise, they may do something stupid. They may elope or do something that will not be palatable for the ears to hear. Huh? So, please, let us tread with caution. Please. Huh? This is unbelievable. Mm. Well, my in-law has spoken well. Like you said, we have to tread with caution. The deed has already been done, and there's nothing we can do about it. You left for my brother Okonkwo here to decide on what to do. Okonkwo, you have had your in-law. Do you have anything to say? I have had them. Well, um... My in-law has spoken very well. Well, I... I... I think I resolved my comments. Yes. Have you seen what you're I am pinned. Have you seen it? That you made him keep one. Please, forgive us. Forgive us. I am seriously pained. I am seriously pained. Because I did not expect this would happen. My daughter is meant to go to school and be of help to herself and to her family. Of course. But what am I saying? What am I saying? In laws, marine in laws. It is very appalling. It is appalling. Honestly, I can't handle this. I don't know what to do. Please, my in-law, we're sorry. Accept us. Listen to me. My father raised me well. You can't keep disgracing our family. You put this woman in a family way. How dare you? Right under my nose. You have no respect for me. You have no respect for my wife. Are you crazy? Come here. Go down on your knees. Go down on your knees. Stupid boy. Now you will apologize to everybody here. Tell them you are sorry for what you have done. I'm sorry, my elder. They can't hear you. You need to speak up. I'm sorry, my elders. Tell them you apologize for what you have done. I apologize for what I did to her. 
Tell them you're ready to get married to her. I'm ready to get married to her. Hey, can you speak out? You're ready to get married to Chidima. I'm ready to get married to Chidima. And you're going to take full responsibility of the child? I'll take care of the child and the mother too. This man you're telling him to say everything, is it coming from his mind? You should ask him if he's coming from his mind because he's not even thinking about it. Oh, my lord, you have you've heard him. Please forgive us. Now get up. Very stupid boy. In fact, you know what? Get into the car. Get into the car. Get into the car. Get into the car. Hey! If I'm up for one of my Hey! Ne, please, you people should temper justice with mercy. Who are the you people? It's this is all. Have you seen your sister? She has denied you! You people? Ebi no, yeah? You are shocked. What is what is shocking you? You know, you know, you know, you know, you uh, okay, no, no, no. You are more normal. You couldn't even look into your sister's life. Marry for them, We are sorry, people. It's so easy. It could go more than the No, no problem. I'm shocked as well. Ask my husband. We have to forgive her as well. Yes. You, you have to forgive her. Okay, it's not her fault. I don't even know what to say. My, my brother is just a dog. Can you imagine? Please, hey. Mama. Please, you have, you have to forgive her. I understand that you're upset, but... Must you force me to forgive in law? Allow me to think about it and forgive. It might drop it down my throat to forgive. Papa, Mama, Sister, please, we are sorry. Forgive us. Who are the us? Who are the us? I don't want you to know what I'm saying. Who are the us? I know you are not being married. You're saying us. You're in the chamfer. In my mama, in a river, why is she? Just, just, before I open my eyes, and you're out of my sight, idiot. And I bet you don't like him, buddy. Okay, no, oh, in one, you're dead. and leave her in the house, he will have me to contend with. Ada, I have spoken to my brother time and time again. He has changed. Lies, your brother can never change. Let me tell you, this is pure example of what they call by first marriage. Nonsense. All right. At least your sister is fertile. She's been proving it time and time again. How dare you? How dare you insult me with my predicaments? You dare insult me because of my childlessness. Your brother has proven himself to be productive. Prove yourself. Impregnate me. Oh, so I'm the cause. Yes, you are the cause. So I'm the cause. You are the cause. Your brother has proven himself. He has two kids. Put a fatal sperm in me. <laughs> yes, put a fatal sperm in me. And you. The next time you get my sister pregnant and travel to God knows where, you will have me to contend with. Monster. It's yours. Useless you. Useless for me. <sighs> Kenneth, sit down. We need to talk. Kenneth. It's time you take responsibility. So I shouldn't go about my own business. 
Kenneth, I didn't say that. I only said you have to be responsible for your actions. Okay. Okay. No problem. You need to come to the house. Let's talk. I'm not welcome. to take my sister's kids in. I don't want them to stay in that village. You want to bring them here? Yes, of course. That your brother's kids too, or is there anything wrong with that? What about your grandmother? No, 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 no. I don't want her to raise them. I want them to grow up here with us. What do you think? That's okay. How about you, Dima? <sighs> I'm making plans for her to travel to Dubai and start a new life. But we'll pray for your brother to get back to his senses and come take his family. That's a good idea. But. Have you told her about your plans? Yes, and she accepted. But honey, mm. you see that your brother, mm. he must surely be if he gets back to his senses and come back for his family. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. Just let it go. It's okay. Come to think of it, honey. Why are you not showing any concern about this? You don't feel the pain. You, you, you care less. Why are you acting reluctant? Okay, why can't you go and drag out your brother and are you now things with him? Listen, he's an adult, all right? He's a grown man. I can't keep making decisions for him. I used to do that before, just like I asked him to marry or I forced him. I can't do that now. He's going to look at me like an unserious person. Oh my God. I can't believe this. Can it? Babe, just calm down. Okay? Listen, I've tried my best. I've spoken to him. I've gone to his house. He's not there. I've called him on the phone. I think you should just let him be. Move on with your life. I strongly believe at some point he would realize his mistakes and he'll be sorry. Yeah. There's nothing I can do. I can't keep chasing after him. He's not a kid. He's a grown man. So I suggest we just let him be and uh, he'll be okay. And everyone is going to be okay. Man, you messed up. You fucked up big time. Man, how could you? How could you dissolve a beautiful marriage as like that? How could you dissolve your marriage with Chidema? That girl is so homely, so respectful, a wife material to the core. What are you thinking? Listen, I will not blame your father-in-law if he's accusing you of having a spiritual wife. At this point, I will not blame him, honestly. I don't know what you are talking about. I don't have any spiritual woman in my life. You don't have a spiritual wife? Then what happened? Why did you dissolve your marriage? 
I want to get married. You want to get married? So the one you had with Chidima, what was it? Manage? Nigga, something is wrong with you. What are you talking about? See, my guy, as an African man, you have the right to marry as many wives as you want. Hence, you can take care of them. But you don't need to dissolve the one you had just to bring another one. Ah, uh now. -uh, See, Angela would not like to be a second wife. Oh, that. So, what happens to your kids? You know what? Just help me talk to Angela. Tell her all this sweet, sweet thing I'm telling you. Tell her I miss her. Tell her that I want her, but let her just give me audience. Then. Everything will be cool, please. That's what I want. Not all this uh, long talk. We are here talking. Since. But guy, you know that will be a difficult task. You know. Anyway, I'll try. But I'm not promising you anything. But then I'll try. But let me advise you as a brother. Go get your kids. Those kids are so adorable. Your boy and your girl are so adorable. You don't need to leave them like that. Go and get them. I've heard them. I've heard you. I've heard you. I've heard you. Please. Huh? I've heard you. No problem. I will. But just do what I ask you to do. Help me. That's what I want. something. She might kill those kids someday. Honey, what are you even talking about? I thought we discussed this last night. Ada, my point still remains, you can't keep your sister's children in this house. Why? Don't you understand? It's, I, I feel like it's wrong. Yeah, I don't want any trouble. Listen, I don't want you maltreating them because of my brother's sins. Please. What do you mean maltreating them? Me, Adeze. Ma treat my own sister's kids. Honey, can you hear yourself? Please don't say this outside. Don't let anyone hear you. Ada, you have to understand me, all right? I feel like it's not appropriate for them to stay here. They can go to their grandmother. Trust me, if my parents were to be alive, they would stay with them. But at this point, they should go to your, your mother. I cannot allow those kids to be raised in the village. No way! Alright, fine. Fine. Why are you asking Chidima to go to Dubai? She can stay in Abuja and get a job and take care of her children. Yes, I want her to go to Dubai. Maybe she'll meet the love of her life and get happy. Stop all this. Those kids, they cannot stay in that village and that is fine now. Well, I have made my point. My point is still very valid. Just think about it.
<laughs> Chidima Okonkwa. Huh? Ulisa! Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ulisa, you look good. Same with you. You look gorgeous. <laughs> look at you. The hot and delectable hey, Chidima Okonkwa. Come, come, come here, come here, come here, come here. Look at you. Turn around, turn around, turn <laughs> Leave around. Leave me, John. Which turn, turn around. Leave me. You've not changed, Ulisa. Always hot as ever. <laughs> What are you doing in my village? What did you come to do? I was um, shocked when you called me on phone. Yeah, I'm actually building a hotel somewhere at the entrance of this village. It's a lie. What? Lisa. What? Wait, wait. You're trying to tell me that you own of that big building. Of on that constru construction. What can I say? Close to the market square. What can I say? The Lord Christ. has been good to me, man. I'm just doing little me for me. Lisa, I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Hey! Chidima, you look hot. Hot and beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> so tell me, you don't look like you live around. Where do you reside? I base in Abuja. Oh my God. Don't tell me that it's true. Abuja. I've been in Abuja for like four months now since I came back from Germany. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I have a couple of business to run in Abuja. I have houses in Maitama, Guarimpa, you know, hey. just, just doing me for me, you know. Please, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> yeah, same here. Yeah. You're doing good for yourself. Yeah. Chilima, oh, look wow. at you, look at you. Always looking hot <laughs> as ever. Yeah? Alisa, you've not changed. So how is your elder sister doing? My sister is fine. She's fine. Good, good. Good to see her again. Jesus. Um, yeah, so I need you to keep me company down to my site. Go and hop in my ride because we have a lot of catching up to do. And don't say no, please. Don't say no. All right? Lisa. Come, 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 it's all right come, if you insist. Come, 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 come. <laughs> oh my god. Lisa. The gorgeous <laughs> Chidima. Wow. Lisa, I'm so happy to see you. I can't believe I'm talking to the love of my life right now. <laughs> Lisa, please, please. Don't go there. Don't take me back to our secondary school love. Please. Listen. Talking about our secondary school, my love letters I sent to you. You never replied anyone. Why? Oh Lisa, can you just stop? Don't take me back there, please. Eh? <laughs> Chidima, tell me more about yourself. Are you married? Because I can't see a ring on your finger. Lisa, come on. Please just drive. I don't have strength to talk. Please, right I really now. want to know everything about you. Huh? Talk to me. Like, I don't, I don't oh, understand. The universe has brought you back to me. I don't understand why you want us to say everything today. You want to know everything today. Eh? Can we okay. just go, please? Okay, fine. Fine. Let me slow down. Take it one step at a time. Hmm? Better. <laughs> and I believe we'll talk about this over dinner. Better, Lisa. Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. What's so tell me, you? how is everything generally? Your your education. Everything is fine, Lisa. Lisa, can we talk about all these things later? I, I remember you want, I remember you wanted to Yo, see we are going to repass. We are fast, 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 fast. Okay. Hmm. Okay, anyways, I'm so happy to see you. You know, you always talk about being a medical doctor. Yeah. Please tell us, who are you? Mama, this is Ulisa. Yes, my papa is my secondary schoolmate from Umoda village. Ewo, 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 Ewo. That one I used to carry on his bicycle back then. Yes, mama. Back to school and go to school. Yes, mama, it's your one. Is this one? Mm -hmm. He has grown this big. You mean, was it not your father that was 
Tanker driver that, that was supplying water around. Exactly, Papa. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Papa needs one. <laughs> okay, where is your father now, Fred? How is he? He's fine, he's doing great. Listen, yeah. you have become this big and looking like a big it's gentleman. Money. <laughs> money is good. I believe this one is eating money, chopping money. Okay, what can I say, Mama? Let you me get, let me get the cola. Get the cola. <laughs> you deserve, you know, to be entertained. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, oh. No, I'm not. Mama, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay, hold that. Ask her. She should answer better. I'm taking care of Mama, don't mind that. Okay. She never agreed I'm taking care of Mama. Maya, she's looking very fresh as ever. Oh, just Thank God. You're so unbelievable that my brother broke up with your sister. Is that why I should disown my own brother? Is that why I should kill him? What the hell are you saying? I'm saying that you and your brother were just laughing and chatting and leaving the main issue at hand. Kenneth is my brother. Nobody was laughing. And I think, or I suggest you give my brother some time, all right? I believe he would come around. He would explain things to me when he's calm. And before that happens, I need to act maturely. I need to handle things my own way. The deed is done already. Don't you understand? Can I tell you that this is crazier than I thought? One minute, I'm trying to let this whole thing slide. And the next minute, I'm furious and angry. You don't have to blame me. You promised to put an end to this entire drama, but you did not. You brought the kids into this house, even when I refused. You went ahead. You have decided to send Chidima to Dubai. And that's fine. Then what the hell is the problem? Why can't peace reign? Kelvin, you know how much I love my sister. And you know that whoever hurts my sister hurts me as well. So why were you just in the car chatting with him? As if nothing happened. My brother and I grew up together. And you know that for sure. My brother was not laughing. You need to calm down. Please. See, I hate your brother with all my heart for putting my sister in such condition. I need you to let your brother know that he's not going to go free after everything he did to my sister. Let him know. Probish. This woman is trying to wreck me. I don't know what else to do. Women with all kinds of problems. Jesus Christ, Mama. Did you just ask me that question? If I'm seeing another man or, or what? Yes. I asked you that. You're not behaving as someone that lost her marriage. You are not sober. You are not even bothered. Neither are you troubled. You behave as if everything is all right. Yes. You are not telling me nor your father what happened in that marriage. Why it crumbled. What you did to Kenneth or what Kenneth did to you. Yes. Secondly, you are seeing someone else. I believe I can tell you for free. That is why Kenneth dissolved that marriage. There is no conversation about everything that happened in that marriage. You're sitting cool and beautiful as if it's fine. You have not told us the truth about what happened in that marriage. So tell us. Mama, wait. A man came to this house and said he's no longer interested in me. Mama, what do you want me to do? Look, I should start crying, screaming, and I should call the whole world on him. Is that what you want me to do? Chidema, it is normal. It is not out of place for a husband and a wife to dissolve their marriage for the reason of incompatibility. But what is not normal, as in your case, is there is no single reason that we can hold 
that we can say, oh, this is the reason why they are separated. Of course. And your sister came here, picked your keys, and promised to take you abroad. Now, why didn't any of these have any... No commitment to me. Thank you. you. Well, well, I am confused. No commitment. Papa, there was never a love marriage between I and Kenneth. We never loved each other. Huh? Yes, and I'm happy it's turned out this way. What? Really? Eh. I have two kids with him. Two children. Two beautiful children with him. Yet you accepted to marry him. Why? No. These children are joking with us, my husband. There is something definitely wrong with everything that is happening. Something is not right because I can never... I don't again, you. I don't make us again, you. Ha! I, 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 I can sense that, too. I can sense something. So you are saying that is the reason for the separation? Please, I have an important call to make. There's no network here, people. Hey! Oh, my God, what? Oh, what do you know? Are the same people? But I put up on the Finiru. She's done it before you. She's going to take the call of that person that she's seen. The person that made Kenneth to dissolve that marriage. Wait, oh. What do children of this day take marriage for? Eh? They think it's something they can go into, get children, enjoy it for a few years, and get separated. There's no value for anything called marriage. They're not telling us anything. I we go and look into this. No, for real, I will go into this because I can't I can't believe that is Chidima that I know. Chidima. And we never taught them like this. They grew up in this house. Am I separated? You are here with us. Marriage, you're not talking about I'm here. I am here. I'm a mess go. Honey, what is it now? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? And you scream like that at this ungodly hour. Talk to me, what is it? I need to use the bathroom. Dream is this. I'm afraid. I'm really scared. Such dreams in my own house. What is she up to? Why am I having these dreams? I just don't understand. God help me. Please, Lord, help me. I don't know what to do right now. <sighs> this dream is terrifying. She's trying to kill me. But for what? 
Why? What's really going on? Babes, don't tell me you don't know. Know about what? Your husband's side chick is in town. She is back. I saw her at the mall two days ago. That's Sandra Vigo. Yes. Yes, baby. And from the look of things, it seems your husband is aware of her being around. Because that crap. See, my husband will never cheat on me ever again. So all those things, is just a thing of the past. You can't be too certain, babes. You can't. Why are you bent on making me angry? See, my husband and Sandra saga is a thing of the past. My husband would never be with her ever again. So what are you saying? Well, I'm sorry. I'm just letting you know. Anything can happen, Sha. Anything can happen. I saw her. She's looking so hot and unusual. Girl, it's like you're forgetting who your friend is. Not after the beating I gave her now. How? She dares not come close to my husband, not even an inch. Does she want to die? <laughs> okay, no wahala. So, um, how is your sister's kids? How are they doing? They're fine, and they're not back from school. Okay, Omar, the way their marriage just ended, you know, it's a shock to me. And my sister. I hate to talk about that. I'm seriously still hurting. <sighs> so sad. Good to see you again. You look, you look amazing. <laughs> Good to see you too. I've missed you. Yes, so just me, what has been going on in your life? I'll just work, you know, and that's all. And what about Obinna? Uh, he's, he's, he's okay. <laughs> she didn't mind me, I meant everything I just told you. Please, Chidima, let's make it work between us. Let's be man and wife. I'm begging you, please. Ulisa, we've been friends for a very long time. And you're a good man. But uh, as it is right now, I I don't know what I don't know what to, to, to say. I'm confused. Chidima, you don't have to be confused. You don't have to be. You're the one my heart yearn for. Okay? Please don't go to Dubai. Let's make it work between us. I'm begging you, please. Olisa. Yeah? I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Please, can we talk about this later? No, I will not. Listen, you're the one my heart yearn for. I can't help myself. I'm in love with you. Try and understand. You remember those letters I wrote you back in school? I remember every word on those letters. And I meant everything on it. Yeah, <laughs> I remember those days. My sister used to <laughs> chase you around to leave me alone. <laughs> yes, and I couldn't stop because I never gave up on you. She did my look. This right here is destiny. Okay, see how the universe has brought you back to me. I don't want to lose you a second time. Let's be man and wife. I'm begging you, please. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa, please drive me home. Hmm? Let's talk about this later, okay? Some other time, I promise. Okay, as my queen pleases. Your wish is my command, but please think about it. Hmm? hmm? The child that plays a trick on his father should realize that one day that child will also become a father. But why are you so much concerned about your daughter's marriage that has gone down the drain? I I really want to know the reason why that marriage just crashed. Just like that. 
You should be more concerned about what comes in the future. I see war. I see death. I see death that will roll in the drums of calamity. The dance of death. You will be glad to be in your grave rather than see this coming in your lifetime. Mba. Mba. I said, I, 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 am, I am more confused than I was before I came here. Death, calamity, grave. Me in the grave? Nothing is mysterious, my friend. That which might seem difficult for a man to understand might be easy and light for another man. Go home and ask your daughter questions about herself and her so-called husband. Go home. Go! You need to stop. Stop it! Kelvin, what's the problem? Stop. Stop it, please. What's this all about? Wait, 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 Kelvin. What is it? You need to stop, alright? I thought you were married with kids. Oh, please. I left him. Look, he's not even a topic to talk about. Why Why don't we stop talking about our marital affairs and, and talk about us? Kevin, I miss you. <sighs> Listen, can you, can you just be civil? Can you just stay at a place? What the hell is wrong with you? Ke Kelvin, please. Come on. Look, we've been dating for such a very long time. And you will not tell me you've, you've, you've not missed this experience, the whole... Come on, we had memories, Kelvin. We did. Sandra, listen, I told my wife about us. I told her the truth. I told her we dated in the past. That means you are in my past. If she finds out we're here playing dirty, it's not going to be funny. Oh, look who's talking about playing dirty. You and I know you're more dirty than I am. Look, why are you trying to be so hard on yourself? Look, I miss you so much. <laughs> you're already rising down there, come on. Oh my God. Hey, what are you doing? Kelvin, please. Listen, you need to stop it. I need to go to my wife. Kelvin, even if this is the last time, she would not find out. Kelvin. Stop it! Wait, wait, kill me, kill me. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's have a word. Let's just, let's just have a word. Let's, let's just, just one word. Just one word. Kill me, please, please. Hey. Just trying to move on with her life, and you know, that's it. And I don't even know what's on your mind. Wow. She never told me all that. But it's fine. It's fine. I can understand. Maybe she wanted you to find out yourself. Listen, Adese, I really don't care, okay? I can't help myself. I'm in love with your sister. I want to build a future with her. And as for her kids, 
I'm willing to take them in and father them. Holy sir, yes, it's straight from the heart. I'm telling you, I can't help myself. You've not changed one bit. You still have this undying love for her. That is, I just believe we are destined to be together. So whatever happened, happened for a reason. Okay, Lisa, I love your sister. I love everything about her. Her imperfections, her mistakes, her flaws, everything about her. And I'm just ready, so ready to make her my wife. Okay, in that case, I would help you talk to her. Please, you have to help me convince her. Don't worry, it's okay. Daddy. Hey! Hey! Hey, boys! How are you? You okay? Yeah. Hey, darling. Mm, how are you? I missed you. Mm. You guys okay? What are you doing? You're reading your books? You saw that. All right. Mm. Ah, yeah. Go to your rooms. All right. I'll come and see you guys shortly. Go to, Go to your, your rooms. rooms. All right. Your rooms. Hello. Welcome. Yeah. How are you? Right. You're welcome, darling. Yeah. Mm. How are you? I'm good. You okay? Yes. I'm oh, great. Honey. Yeah. Meet Olisa. He's Chidema's childhood friend. Oh. Olisa, my husband. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. I can see you have a lovely family and you're doing a very good job taking very good care of them. Please keep it up. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. He actually traveled to Germany, I think, after secondary school. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> and guess what? He is now living in Abuja. <laughs> uh, so, young man, what do you do for a living? Yeah, I have um, businesses across the world, so I travel around the world. Yeah. Um, nice to meet you again. Yes, yeah, same here. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Okay, darling. So, how have you been? I'm fine, I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Honestly, I can't believe you still love my sister after so many years. You know, I never stopped thinking of her. And now that I've seen her, I won't let her out of my sight. <laughs> Sounds nice. Don't worry. I'll talk to her on your behalf, okay? Please do. Please do. <laughs> it's all right. Just book a flight for me for the weekend. I'll be coming this weekend. No, no, no. No, this weekend is fine. <laughs> it's alright. No, no. So, how are you? Hi, Zabuja. Oh, yeah, my sister told me about the visit. Alright, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Right. <laughs> you're, you're talking to Lisa? Yes, Mama. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, your father wants to see you. He wants to speak with you. All right, Mama. <laughs> I'm behind you. Uh, no problem. Chidima, my daughter. Papa. You see. When the eyes is crying, the nose shares in the agony. And when a man sees a tiny snake on his way, he comes to tell his kinsmen that he has seen a big python. Otua. And whatever is meant to be worn on your eyes, you cannot be seen in your arm. And the greatest risk a child will undertake is to lie to his or her parents and try to cover it up or smart on just to give that feeling that he or she is wise. Uh -huh. For the last time, I'll ask you as your father. Do you have any skeleton in your cupboard? And what are you doing in the dark that you do not even want the sun to reveal? No, tell us. 
How are people say a father can use his head to wage a bullet for his children? Yes, that's true. But then, nothing. I repeat, nothing that you will tell me or your mother or your parents that is wrong with your life that we will not stand by you or protect you. The ear will never begin to bleed because of what it hears. And no matter what the eye sees, it will not bleed blood. Everything has solution. Even death. Yes, they say it does not have a solution. Because nobody can bring the dead to the, to, to the living. Yes, we know. But what is happening in this family and in the lives of our children? It's not anything we would have wished them to go through. That is not the kind of life we planned for them. Yet this girl will not open up to us. My child, open up to your mother, to your father. And we will be there to protect you. We will be there for you. Please, don't hide it from us. You know what I'm talking about. Say it to us. Papa. Mama. Yes. See, I think it's high time I left this house for the both of you. Yes. Me, I'm tired of all this. So I'm tired of all this. Maybe I should just go to Lagos or somewhere else. Eh? Why is every meeting in this house always about Chidima? Why? Because I see evil. Yes, I see evil coming. Riding on the wing to destroy my family. Chidima, we are restless. You may go anywhere you want to go to. But I tell you this. You can never be smarter than your chi. At all. We are your gods. We are your earthly gods. Let that thing that wants to take your head come. Chidima, it has to take me first. Me. Yes. Eh? Tell us. Stop pretending. Naked yourself and let us see the scars and know where we can be your help. We are traumatized. We are restless. We are worried about you. I'm not hiding anything, please. Have you seen it? Have you seen what I've been telling you? This girl is very secretive. Even right from childhood, you cannot uh, 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 you know, trick her or cajole her into saying something that is on her mind. She will hide it and never reveal it to you. Yeah, they say she's a direct recognition of your late mother. And this is exactly the way your mother was behaving when she was on earth. Woman, uh, shut up. Hiding her money everywhere. Ah! Talking something to you, I need to call mother right away. You don't go, you do not go again. talked about that. Okay. I love you too. <laughs> Listen, I love you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Alright, 
こいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこいだかこい After what you promised me. Babe, what stupid question is that? What stupid question is that? What do you mean by that? I had a dream about you. And I saw the both of you kissing in your office. I'm serious. I will kill you if you dare go back to your words. See, I don't even have time to start monitoring or checking your phone. Just don't dare me. Ada, you need to stop. Okay? You need to stop. No one is cheating on you. You need to stop being negative. You need to take those negativity off your mind. You can't possibly have a dream and think it is reality. It was just a dream. No one is cheating on you. I don't have anything to do with Sandra. I'm here working, working hard to pay bills. It's okay. I believe you. But don't dare me. You know I can kill, right? Oh. You need to stop saying that to me. Alright? Stop saying that to me. It is wrong. I'll be traveling to the village first in tomorrow morning. Why? Is there a problem? I think it's about Chidima. My dad called. He sounded furious. All right, that's fine. When are you going? I said first thing tomorrow morning. All right, so how are you going? Are you flying or you're driving? I'm flying. When are you coming back? Let me get to the village first. Ada? You need to stop, okay? You're threatening me. And that's totally wrong. You can't tell someone to their face that you're going to kill them. You can get arrested for that. To accept a married man with two kids. Are you for real? Angie, that is not what I'm saying, okay? What I'm saying is, give him chance to explain things to you, okay? Listen, this man wasn't happy with this marriage. He's not happy with it. It's not an excuse to have kept me in the dark all this while. Yes! Just do it and feel the pain. Look, the sister-in-law traced me down to my house. She threatened to deal with me personally. Are you serious? Yes. I don't know who gave her my house address. She threatened to deal with me for what I don't know about. Angela, I'm sorry about that, okay? I'm sorry, but I still maintain, give Kenneth a chance to explain things to you. He might have a cogent reasons for the things he did. Please, I beg you, just allow him to explain. It's because of you. It's because of you I have to take his call. 
If not, I swear to God, I would not. You know me now. I will not do that. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> and um, one more thing. What are you talking about? We agreed you'll be traveling to Dubai. Sister, I'm not going to Dubai. I want to be in Abuja. I want to be close to my kids. Eh? I want to stay in Abuja, but not in your house. Papa, Mama, this was not the plan. Chilima, what changed? I thought we agreed on this already. What happened again? Why can't I stay in Abuja? What is wrong with that? Something is wrong with it. I want to be close to my kids so I can see them, period. I want you to stay far from Kenneth. I don't want him to come back and start deceiving you. Why have you people deviated from the main topic? I said, ask your sister what happened to her marriage. Because I foretell bad days ahead. Papa, you have come again. Which one is bad days ahead again? I don't understand. My husband. This one you're talking about for telling something and not interested in her marriage and all that. It's not the point. This girl you see is not faithful in her marriage. I have been seeing her snooping around to answer this particular call that usually calls her at night. I'm suspecting her with that number. Who is that I usually call you at night? Mama, it's only sir. And you're hiding to that answer his call. Somebody and, uh, will all know. I don't even know why everybody is so worried about who I call and who I don't call on phone. How is that a problem? How is it you people's business? Your sister said she was never in love. Nor have any feeling at all for Kenneth. Cheating, ma. Sister. Yes, that is it. Can that be over now, please? Ha! You don't want to go to Dubai. You want to go to Abuja. Abuja, 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 brain. You got no idea, Abuja. Abuja marriage. You have seen your life with Abuja marriage. Go to Dubai, it's better for you. Anna, my grandma, I'm not going there. I don't know why you are looking at me like, am I a child? Okay, oh, Mama. Mm -hmm. Let us let her be. You don't want to travel to Dubai again, okay? I'll have your drink. What's wrong with you? You don't seem happy. What's going on? I'm fine. Okay, someone is obviously lying to me. If you think I'm lying, then that's okay. Sandra, you have to stop coming to my office. My wife had a terrible dream about you and I. She saw us kissing and making out, and that's so wrong. Thank God she said it's a dream. Because let's just pray it doesn't come out real. And come to think about it too, you and I have been friends for so long before you even got married to her, Adizi. So I, I still wonder why things didn't work out between you and I. I don't think we should have that conversation. <laughs> yeah, um, you talked about... Um, See me, wanted to talk about something. What's, what's going on? Sandra. Okay. I needed some me time. I needed to cool off. I left my house because I wanted to... to get some things off my chest. Some things like what you mean, what your brother did, is that disturbing you? It's more than that. Okay. And you know we can always talk about anything. Come on. Let's share the thoughts. What's going on? I'm sorry, it's my cue to leave. No, 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 sweetheart. You know what you don't need to. Look, look. Let me. You can actually um stay, stay, right? 
I enjoy your company. And you can stay as long as you want, you know that, right? Just relax. Sit tight and let me make you feel comfortable. Alright? What? Kenneth! That is it. Please don't tell anyone. And that's why I had to leave. You are evil. How could you do such a thing? I'm telling you all these things because I love you and I want us back. Why would you do such a thing? Are you under a spell or something? No. Maybe I was naive. I was thinking I'm helping my brother out. And I have to do it for him. No. No, no. Look, do you know what you did? Do you know? I, I don't know. Someone has to know about this. Yes, because you are at the center of everything. And your sister-in-law is freaking out with stress. I am going to look for that sister-in-law and tell her everything you just said here. I am going to do that. You dare not. You dare not do such thing. Are you yelling at me? In my own house? You stupid bastard! Do you call me a bastard? Are you raising your voice at me? <coughs> How dare you? I don't know. It's because of Melissa she changed her mind. But I support her. You know, the young man has been coming around. And your father, in his way, has explained everything to the young man. I see he doesn't have any problem with that. Mama, that is what Melissa told me. Was she going to Abuja to visit him? It's too early. I'm not buying that idea. I've spoken to her. But she insists she is going. She said she must go there. Mama, the thing is that I don't want her to appear cheap. I know how men are. I know they've been friends since secondary school, but visiting him this early is a turn off for me. Uh, you're right to what you're saying. But wait, if not the young man, who, who else is inviting her to come to Abuja? Me. I don't want any man taking advantage of Chidima. She has been through a lot. You're right. But I don't know. I don't know how to approach this matter anymore. I don't know. Sister, I just need to leave this village. I feel choked already. I need to be out of here. See, it's not like I'm asking you not to leave the village. But I want you to come back to my house after visiting Olisa. That's why all I'm asking. Come on, sister. You know, Lisa, he won't take advantage of me. See, I know that Olisa likes you and you like him too, but I want you to take things easy. I don't want anybody taking advantage of you. At least take your time, know him, study him, know the kind of man he is. It's okay, sister. So, have you accepted me not going to Dubai now? If you say so, at least it will give you time to know this more. Thank you. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Just be careful. I don't want any guy taking advantage of you again. And I want you to be happy and genuinely happy. I understand. <laughs> But we're going to spend the weekend together. I'm not sure about that, I'm sorry. My wife and I intend to spend time with the kids. Babe, please. Please. 
Sandra. I've told you to stop calling me babe. I'm someone's husband. Fine. But look, it's, it's just going to be one weekend. Like just one weekend and then I'll go back to London. I would not even disturb you anymore. Please. All right, I'll think about it. Yes. I love you. And, um, you know what? Say hi to your crazy wife as you go. What the hell is this? What nonsense is this? Hello? Sandra, can you hear me? Sandra, what nonsense is this? What the hell is this? Have you gone crazy? Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Why did you put this nonsense in my pocket? <laughs> you know, I... I want you to think about me, baby. I want you to think about me and what we had today. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Are you trying to get me into trouble? What if my wife finds out? I know you're a very smart guy. I knew you'd definitely find it before your wife does. <laughs> Look, Kel, I, I want us to spend the weekend together. You know, have some fun, catch up. <laughs> Yeah, and you better not say no because if you do, I'll just have to come to your home or your office. <laughs> and I'm sure you wouldn't want that. Oh yeah, I mean every single word I said. And if you do not want your wife's um, dream to come to reality, you would have to honor my kind and sexy chat to request my king. Sandra. Listen to me! I am a married man. Alright? You need to leave me the hell alone. I need to focus on my family. Do you understand me? 
Listen, you, you, you can't say that to me. You, you, you can't say, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Nonsense. What? Um, you startled me. When did you get back? I wasn't expecting to see you. A while ago. I've been calling your phone. Why have you not been taking your calls? Ah. Uh... Sorry, babe. Long story. So, I had a meeting. A very long one at that. And uh, my phone was on silent. I didn't know you called. I saw your missed calls uh, eventually. But I'm sorry about that. So, what's up? How did it go? Did you see your dad? I did. Honey, guess what? What? <laughs> Mark has declined traveling to Dubai. And she says she wants to live here in Abuja. Really? Mm -hmm. And as we speak, she's making plans to come visit Ulisa here in Abuja. So soon? I tried talking her out, but she seems adamant about it. After all, she's not a kid. So I'll just let her live her life and make sure she's careful. <sighs> okay. That's okay. That's okay? <laughs> Honey, what do you mean, that's okay? Don't tell me you're just buying the idea. Um, babe, listen. She's an adult. Um, she's no longer a child. Sometimes I feel like she needs some love, you know. She needs to be uh, loved too, you know. Some love and affection. Yeah. I think you're right. But I'm just worried about her being treated the way your brother treated her and all that. I feel she's been a bit brushy. What do you think? You actually have a point. Yeah, you do. That's by the way. So tell me, how was your trip? Hectic and fine. Mm. I missed you. I missed you too. Wait. Is that what your father wanted to see you? Not really. You know what? I will tell you all about that. Making something. Oh. I need to get to the kitchen. Oh, right. Okay. I'll be right back. Right, sure, 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 sure. I said I'm tired. Come on. I'm tired. Please. Why are you yelling at me? Have you forgotten I'm your wife? Babe, I'm not disputing you're my wife. I just said I'm tired. Come on. Then just make love to me. Honey, when was the last time you touched me? Babe, can you stop? I'm tired. Baby, I'm tired now. I said I'm tired. Come on. Tell me. Are you seeing someone else? What do you mean? What stupid question is that? 
I just told you I'm tired. And you're accusing me of seeing someone else. Are you crazy? Don't touch me again. Don't touch me again. Okay, fine. Fine. and open it. Babe! Yes? You are... Pregnant! <laughs> <laughs> yes? I'm so happy now. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know, we just came back uh, from abroad, yeah? Mm -hmm. So after the party, we'll make a preparation to go and see your people. Yes. Babe, it's a lie. Yes, girl, I'm getting married to you. <gasps> Baby, this is what I've been waiting for. I love you. I love you too, my baby. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby, I love you. I love you too. You going to see my parents? Yes. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Love I love you. I love I've been you. waiting for this. B! Kenneth, what's up? Have a seat. Why are you standing by the window? Where is your wife? She just stepped out with the kids. Sit down. What's up, bro? Why are you looking gloomy? You don't look fine. What's going on? You, you okay? Angela is dead. What? Yes. And it's your fault. What happened? You made me kill her. She was carrying my child. She was carrying my unborn child! I made you kill her. What are you talking about, Kenneth? I told her everything. Everything that she needed to know. And she threatened to expose me to your wife. Who threatened her? So we have Um Kenneth, I'm trying to wrap this entire explanation. Okay, so what have you done? Have you gone to the police to uh, 
report yourself or I run away. You run away. Yes. What do you have me do? I should go to the police and report myself. No, I will not do that. It's all your fault. It's your fault. Hey, you made me hey, do that. Kenneth, listen to me. You need to slow down. Don't tell me to calm down. No, you need to slow down. All right. We need. You need to calm down, and let's let's find a way out of this. Kenneth! <laughs> Kenneth! Yeah, hello. Yeah, so when are you landing? Okay, all right. Um, I will be at the airport waiting. Yes? No, 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 no. You don't have to worry yourself, my dear. I'll be at the airport, okay? All right, now. Wish you a safe flight. All right, see you soon. Return by Monday, yeah. Honey, this is so sudden. I know, but I have to go. It's important I attend the meeting. They need me. I need to sign some documents, yeah. What? Why don't you send your secretary? Really? My assistant? No, I can't do that. Um, babe, give her some break. I need to go in person, all right? Because I need to sign some documents, like I said. Well, it's, it's okay. Yeah. You know what? Let me fix you something to it. I'll be back. There's no need for that. I'm driving in a park at the airport and uh, come back on Monday. Yeah. Well, okay. Don't forget to call me once you get to Lagos. Of course, I always call you. I'll just call you. What? Mm. I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you. What? Mm. I miss you too now. I love you. I love you too. Mm. 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 Come here. I'm mm. going to miss you. I'll be back on Monday. Come on. Hey, be a good girl, okay? Mm. I'm not happy. I know. Mm. I have to go, babe. Take Don't tell me you're not here yet. Don't keep your baby waiting. <laughs> I am fully set and waiting for you to be here. Yeah, I'll be there in 15 minutes. I said I'll be there in 15 minutes. Just relax. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ride faster, my king. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Do you have so much confidence in your man? I mean, 
You think your man is not cheating on you? Adesi, please. A man that goes for a business submit on a Sunday. No, 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 Adesi, you have to shine your eyes. Open your eyes. You know, go the inside ocean, so enter your eyes. No. Sandra girl is in town for, for days now. Dora, enough. You can't be telling me about this Sandra girl all the time. I know my husband cheated and was retired in the past, but that was because... That was what? Fine. You know that it took me quite a time to get pregnant. So my husband was actually going out with her, thinking that she was going to take him. But that never happened. So what are you saying? A daisy. The truth is that I do not want you running to me crying. I don't want you to come to my house crying. Excuse me. I care for you. That will never happen. Care okay. for yourself. <laughs> okay. So what if you wake up one morning and then someone shows up with a child for your husband? What are you going to do? Tell me. Dora. My husband is calling. Hello, darling. No matter. Soon you're sitting all alone, and I hope there's no problem. I had a very terrible dream. I had a terrible dream? Yes. Come sit. Come and sit. Tell me about it. My husband, I had a very terrible dream. In that dream, two hands were fighting themselves to death. The fight was so fierce that they were injuring themselves blood. In fact, it wasn't a, a good sight at all. The sight was so nasty. I tried everything possible to separate them and I couldn't. Which one is... Uh... Two hands fighting themselves to the point of enjoying themselves. As what I don't know, it no means my dreams. I am as confused as you are. But you know, the, the one that made the matter so worse, when I rushed to the backyard to go and pick up a stick to chase them, to separate them, getting to the backyard, I saw a dead cock a, lying on the floor. A dead cock? Yes! So this whole thing is, is very confusing. It, it, it's okay. I will try and find the meaning of the dream. Okay? It's okay, it's okay. I will try to look for the meaning of, of, of the dream, okay? Um, where is our daughter? She didn't tell me where she was going. She's not back yet. Alright, I will... I will call her later and tell her everything I'm doing, okay? Um, I'm hungry. Oh, let me get your food. Sorry, I kept you waiting. It is fated to happen. But the truth has refused to come to limelight. 
Like I told you before, my friend, after death, nothing else matters but war and calamity. Is it not? You, you, you're, not, you're not helping matters at all. Can you try and be a little more explicit? I'm, I'm getting more confused. You say calamity, dead, war. I don't know what to do. Sabu has happened right under your nose. And you claim you cannot smell it. Should an elder like you ask for explanation to adage? It will be a slap on your grey hair, my friend. Nothing has changed. And whatever may change after death can only be calamity and war. It is better you wish you are not alive to see or witness what is about to come. You see the unbelievable. <sighs> Um, has it anything to do with the dream my wife have always had? The gods can reveal things to men in a way they will understand. But when they fail to comprehend, when they get stuck and confused, they call it mystery. Whatever that's been played out, dream or reality, revolves around your home. But my daughter has refused to accept the fact that she was into extramarital affairs, a reason for which the marriage may have collapsed. Is the same marriage? Can a marriage be a mirage? If yes, then there was never a marriage in the first place. No, my my my, my daughter was married and had two two, two, two kids, two children. Fine. I give that with your spirit. You have failed to understand even when you ask the bar. A man should not believe all that he sees. For even the foamy waters are crystal and clear underneath. If I tell you I am, I'm not lost and I'm lying. What can I do to prevent this calamity that you talk about? Nothing. Nothing but peace. Speak peace. Preach peace. For at the end of the day, it might have some impact on the other side. But ears will bleed and wish they never heard. And even eyes will wish they never saw. There is bad news. My brother was arrested. Yes. His friend called me and also came to the house. He said your brother wants to see me. What for? I don't know. I was waiting for you to return so we can go together. Babe, just let me handle it, alright? You just stay back. Okay? Are you sure? Yeah, I'll see him myself. 
you don't have to come with me. So, how was your trip? <sighs> you don't want to know. Hectic, terrible. I'm tired. Now you're back home, I can at least take care of you. Let me make you forward. Uh, I just want to shower. Where are the kids? In the room. Okay. All right, just help me with that. Um, Careful, that's heavy. Thank you for the treats. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And I'm happy you had great fun. Of course I did. Um, Chidema. Yes, Elisa. About what I told you the other time. I really meant everything I said. Listen, I can't imagine life without you by my side. Please, let's give us a chance and let's make it work. Come on, Elisa. Can you just drop me at my sister's place? Please. Why? Why can't we talk about this right now? Oh, I don't want to talk about this right now. See, I'm tired. Can we just go, please? I know, it's just that I'm troubled. I, I... Come on, let's go. It's alright, it's alright. Can we take a minute to pray before we eat? Oh, I forgot your dad was a pastor before his demise. You know already. Okay. Dear Lord, bless this meal that we may eat and be healthy and have more in abundance. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Shidima, you and Olisa will make a great couple. At least he's a God fearing man. <laughs> and Olisa. Hope yeah. you took care of her over the weekend. Hope you made us stay an interesting one. Mm. Yes, yes, sister. I, I enjoyed my, my stay with him, right? Um, y yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, we went visiting nice places. Um, she enjoyed herself. She had great fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And sister, um, Ulisa is a very nice man. I enjoyed my stay with him. I see. Uh, um, yes, we we're just catching up on old times. You know that feeling, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, why are you not eating? Are you not enjoying the food? And you're not eating as well. Yeah, hello, Chidima. Yeah, I just uh, got home. I'm in front of my gates. Yes. Chidima, yeah, I, I want to ask you a question. What just happened back there? You never spent any weekend in my house, so why do you have to lie to your elder sister? Listen, I do not appreciate lies, okay? And besides, why do you even have to lie in my name? That's the problem I'm having with you right now. Listen, try and be honest in everything you do. You never can tell if they will allow you to go where you, wherever you want to go. Please don't do that again. In short, I don't even know what to think of you right now.
Don't do that again. Hope you're doing fine. Okay. So I'll call you later tonight so we'll talk about tomorrow's movement, right? Take good care of yourself. Sweet dreams. Bye. How are you, brother? I did not send for you. I sent for your wife. Kenneth, unfortunately, you can't see my wife. It's impossible to see her now. I want to be free. Kenneth, you don't understand. You cannot be free. You are in police custody. You murdered your lover. But I want to help you. You have to let me help you because I can help you. You are evil. You are a monster. My own flesh and blood. You ruined my life. Kenneth. You don't understand. I want to help you. But you cannot see my wife. You cannot say a word to her. If we have that deal, then I'll help you. For how long? How long will you keep this? As long as we live on Earth. Sandra. So you've gone back to Sandra. I regret marrying Chidema. I regret it all my life. <sighs> Kenneth. I'm very sure you don't want to go to jail. Your life is in my hands. We strike a deal. You won't say a word. And I'll get you out of here. Think about it. Go to hell. Go to hell! Think about what I said. My own brother. Hi, Sandra. Listen, I'm coming to see you tonight, okay? I need to get things off my chest. I understand you, but listen, I'm going to see more of you before you go back to the UK. Just chill. I'll see you tonight, okay? Please. All right, cool. Can you start explaining to me what happened yesterday? I got the backups and drama. I don't understand, sister. What are you saying? Don't you dare me. Where did you spend your weekend? And what did you come to Abuja to do? Chidima, you lied to us and lied to Mama and Papa. Sister, I saw the looks on his face. You know that I am way smarter than you, right? You know. So wait. I see. So this is why Kenneth called up the marriage. You were cheating on him, right? Sister, I was not cheating on anybody. Chidima, I am your elder sister. Who did you come to Abuja to see? Sister, I went to see an old colleague of mine and he has gone back to England. Damn! Damn it! And you said you are not cheating. No, answer me, you are not cheating. I will never cheat, sister. I won't. A lot has been going on. And I pray you find out soon. Spare me all that. You have the nerves, Chidima. You spent three days with that stupid old colleague of yours in Abuja. And you hipped it on Olisa. Why? Chidima, what do you really want? Is the person 
way you spent the, the, the weekend with is he better than Olisa? He is better than Olisa. He is. He's the love of my life. He deflowered me, sister. He has showed me nothing but love, care, everything. It's just that he's unfortunate. I mean, we are unfortunate. But I'm going to stand strong. Yes, I'll stand strong to fight for us. He's a married man, right? Chidima, he is a married man and that's what makes him unfortunate. Listen, I will never give you an advice that will ruin you. Chidima, you cannot be going out with a married man. It will only destroy and ruin your life. Listen, tonight you have to cancel all the relationship you have with that man. Sister, I'm not a child. You don't tell me what to do. How dare! What's going on here? Chinema. Hey, you listen to me. Don't you dare lay your hands on me next time. Did you hear me? And listen to me. You are not in the position to tell me who or who not to get married to. Do you hear me? He is a married man. And I love him. And I want to get married to him. You tell Olisa. I won't get married to him. Neither you, Mama or Papa, who tell me who, who to get married to. Did you hear me? Rubbish. Jesus, Jesus, I've lost my sister. Wait, what happened? Talk to me. Chidima. Chidima wanted to slap me in my own house. What, what, what really happened? Jesus, Jesus. Wait, talk to me. What really happened? Chidima is going out with a married man. Hey, I'm finished. Oh, I'm finished. <sighs> Could that be why my brother insisted on seeing you? I think so. I had Olisa came here with his people to seek for my hand in marriage. Mm -hmm. Please tell them I'm not, I'm not interested. Don't, people should not take anything from them, please. But you said you went to Abuja to see your sister and from there to see Olisa. And Olisa does not appear to us like someone who is not genuine. So, what happened? Papa, everything is fine. Olisa, it's fine. He is okay. There's nothing wrong with him. So what happened? Why are you rejecting him? Mama, you push you understand me. I don't love Olisa. We don't love each other. Eh, my heart is occupied. Like, I love someone else. Eh? So let's just, please. Please, eh? Let's stop talking about this, Mama. Maybe you need some time. I should, or we should tell Olisa to let you be. To give you some time so that you can cool down your head and begin to think in the right, in the right direction. Mama, I don't need any time. My head is calm and cool. I'm fine. I don't need, don't need the time, people. Hmm. Then in that case, you have to bring the, the man that your heart yearns for all this while. Let's see him. Hey, hey, Papa, now you're talking. You meet him at the right time. Mm. You heard from the horse's mouth. I told you this girl is seeing someone else. That was why her marriage collapsed. 
she has been cheating on her husband. I told you. Mwobia Kwa. Mama. That mystery man. That mystery man. No problem. I know me. I'm here. I'm here. I would live to see that mystery man. Gods of our land. Please do not allow the prophecy of Ezemo come to pass. Mm -hmm. Where yeah. are you going again? Babe. I'm trying to ensure my brother doesn't go to jail. Can't you wait till tomorrow? You just go back from work. Babe, no, it's urgent I see him. I need to see my lawyer. It's very important, please. Okay? I'll come back shortly. Hey, cheer up, okay? I'll be good. Okay. Sorry. Need time I about. Come and see me up to the gate. Okay. Cheer up now. I'll be back before you know it. Okay? No. Come in. Sandra, I apologize. But I'm here now. We're spending the night. What did you say? Are you out of your mind? Of course I'm out of my mind. I'm not going to spend the night with you. I'm sure you know that. If you leave, I will expose the secret you have with your brother that has ruined his so-called marriage. So you choose to spend the night with me? Oh yes, baby. I need sex. Hot one for that matter for you. A long night of love making noise stop. Or you choose to watch a marriage go down the drain. Mr. Smart Husband. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> That's me. Oh, you think I came to Nigeria to just roam about with no plans? <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> so you know about my brother? <laughs> what else do you know about him? I also know that your brother was in cell for killing his pregnant lover. Oh, lest I forget in detail, you killed him just to cover up all traces. <laughs> but for how long? <laughs> come, 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 come here. Take this thing. Take this. Your friend might say, make I give you. Behave yourself if you like. Behave yourself. Dragged his friend to the supermarket where he bought those stuff for his friend, your brother. Meanwhile, you already had a police waiting. But yet, another alternative showed up because he said he was going to the cell to see his friend. <laughs> you injected the juice.
So you killed your own flesh and blood just to cover up. Sandra, I love my wife. He wanted to see my wife, but refused to take my request. That is none of my business. I just wanted to let you know that I know all the games you've been playing. Yes. Sandra. You don't have a choice. Are you trying to blackmail me? No. Just and I together. That's all I want. And they are watching, just so you know. Just in case you try to sniff life out of me. <laughs> and who's watching? <laughs> that you know when you try anything funny. You know, I still feel the pain, the anger, the depression that you have caused me all these years by picking a dog over me. I apologized. I said I was sorry. Oh, no, don't be sorry, baby boy. <laughs> I'm just fine with you by my side. Mama, what is it? I have been observing you. What is the matter? Chidema, you are not fine. You are my daughter. You are my child. I know you very well. I know everything is not fine with you. The night is full of worry. Everybody is anxious. Myself, I cannot sleep. I believe you're going through the same thing as well. Mama, I said I'm fine. I'm just worried about my children. And, and I, I don't know, I, I had a terrible dream. I, I'll be fine. A terrible dream about what? I dreamt my husband died. What? God forbid. I mean, you mean your ex-husband? Mama, I'm just feeling restless. I don't know how I'm feeling. I, I don't know. Yes. 
<laughs> Mom, what is it? So, what are you not sure sick? Your body is very hot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Jasmine, be fast with the water now. You're not sleeping. Oh, you're hearing the cat cry? A cat? Yes. What is a cat doing in our compound? I am troubled. I just finished speaking with our daughter right now. She said her husband went for a meeting. And up till now, he's not back. She has tried the lines and the lines wouldn't connect. Are you serious? Yes, I am very troubled. And what? She didn't have... She's not sleeping. She said she, she had a terrible dream where she saw Kenneth die. Ex-husband? Yes. As we speak, she's in her room, rolling through and through on her bed. She's not sleeping. This is terrible. I have never felt the way I, I feel right now. I, I must tell you the truth. I am afraid. What, what are you afraid of? What is a more said? Uh, yes. I feel very cold inside. What kind of meeting is that? Eh? Are you sure it's a business meeting? I don't even know. That's what he told me. And his line is not reachable till now. That's the most confusing part. I don't even know who do I start calling now. Hi. Honey. Where have you been? Where are my kids? They're in the room. Honey? Honey, are you okay? Why 
Why is he acting weird? Honey! 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 Manager, you mean you met him like this? Yes, officer. It was a staff who alerted the management before we called you. Officer. Sir. Get me an ambulance. Yes, sir.
Yes, officer! Yes, officer, there is an emergency! His wife just fainted. Are you sure he's the one? He was in the house this morning. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be on my way. I'll, I'll be on my way immediately to the hotel. All right. I can wake up. I can, I can wake up. Hmm. Hmm. Arrow. How can you say that Kevin is dead? Our in-law Kevin dead? Hey. What's happened? Who can walk? I can want to explain this kind of thing. Okoko, my brother. Please take heart. This is a very big loss to the entire family. Please take heart. Kevin, a young, a young vibrant man. Handsome man. Hey. This is a very big talent. A very big one. Hey! I'm sorry about the death of your ex-husband and your in-law. It's quite a terrible thing to experience. But I just want to assure you that I'll be here for you. Okay? Thank you very much, Elisa. Thank you. That's okay. That's okay. Listen, I'll be by your side all through this trying time. Alright? Oh, no. <laughs> Stop crying. Stop crying. Why me? Why me, God? Why? <laughs> Why is this happening now, God? Oh no! <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'm sorry, everything's going to be fine, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To be fine, please, I need you to be strong, okay? You know, you don't need this right now. This is not good for you. Hmm? Sorry. It's okay. Oh, God, Lisa. Oh. <laughs> I understand, I understand. I understand how deeply hurt you are. But it's going to be fine. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's okay. That's okay. Come on, let me take you somewhere. Hey! Aloe, man! But hey, two brothers, two brothers, sons of the same parents, died one after the other within 24 hours. Hey, this is impossible. This is impossible. Kenneth. Kenneth was poisoned inside the police cell. And Kevin. Kevin followed a strange woman. Wapping up, you know, he died on top of her inside the hotel. Hey! I didn't know. <laughs> is Ada no good enough for you? What kind of embarrassment is this? Kevin, he wastes a long while. No, thus, from there, if you look for how to go, it is through wrapping up, you know, on uh, top of the bed in the hotel room. I'm very, very disappointed. What a relief. Hello! can't undo what is done. God gives and God takes. So please be strong and stop crying. What is that? You stop crying. Oh. I just don't want to stop crying. Hey! Police, you know that he showed himself. 
He came here and thought he was my husband. No, I did not know he was there. No. He went straight to this children's room. I did not know he was dead. Hey, Gabby, why did you do this to me? Hey, Sandra, Sandra, Sandra killed my husband. Sandra, you have fulfilled your mission, Dora. You want me? You want me? This girl has killed my husband. Who will be my husband? Hey! Help me, please come back home. <laughs> that girl killed him out of jealousy. She killed him because of jealousy. Yes, but I must look for that girl. I will find her and I shall avenge my nephew's death. Bam! She must not go scot-free. She will pay with her life. Yes, she must pay with her life. <laughs> Um, well, the good thing is that the two brothers, they both of them have sons. Yeah. Um, uh, is it the, uh, uh, the Salvador or whatever he calls him? And uh, Kenneth himself has also has uh, Monachi and uh, 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 Jasmine, the daughter. You see? Um, so, about Kevin's death. How do we put it on the wife? Because we need to take over all this property from her, kick her out of the house. Eh? If not that uh, she had quarrel with Kelvin, he wouldn't have met his death that night. But what do you think? You have a point there, you have a point. But come to think of it, she did not ask Kelvin to go and die on top of a woman in the hotel room. Or I mean, then how 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 do we now um, uh, orgy, uh, start? Oji, Oji, use your brain, use your brain, eh? use your brain. See, she told us how Kevin went out in the night. I suspect she's lying to us. Yes, she's lying to us. Who goes to work by night? They had quarrel. They had serious quarrel, and uh, Kevin went to rest his head on another woman's chest. And unfortunately, he met his death. That is how we're going to put it. Eh? See, don't worry, it's Oji. It's don't because... worry, Oji. Don't be afraid. I know what to say. Eh? We are going to take all these properties from her and other properties. Eh? We'll take it from them and kick, kick her out of this house. Eh? Let's go inside. Let's go inside. What? Let's go inside. I know what to well, say. Don't worry yourself. Your daughter killed our son. Yes. Are you out of here? Is something wrong with you? Well, that is the reason we are here, to inform you people. Because if she was not yelling and shouting on her husband that very night, Kelvin wouldn't have gone to the hotel to be with another woman. What, what is wrong with this man? Are you okay? What nonsense are you vomiting from your mouth? Kelvin, all the time he was alive, had never come here to report that he had any issue with our daughter. Where are you forming all this thing from? And we know they have been living in harmony. Yeah. There has never been any trouble with two of them. What is your problem? Your brother died on top of another woman. Why are you blaming our daughter? Is something wrong with you? I have known you as a foolish man also. We cannot take this. No, we cannot. See, let me tell you. Immediately after the burial of our son, your daughter is packing to return back into this house. And she's going to leave everything our brother's son left behind like that. She's coming back here. She's already on her way. Yes. Because a good woman will always do what pleases the husband. Yes. But this one, she killed her brother. She lived him to his death. That woman must live 
her she family. She frustrated him till he Frustrated died. him! She must leave her family. Just look at you. I'm just like Naji. Oh, you think that that era, when you wake up and throw a woman and a child out of a late husband's house, is still in vogue? Eh? You think that is still happening? No. My friend, let me tell you something. If you try it in this era, you are the owners of jail. That's why we're not in jail. Not one dead is involved. Get down with them. What well lies have you said? Your brother was a dog who died on top of a woman. Just prepare a room for your daughter. She's returning into the south. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're a very big fool, Lord. You're a very big fool. You're not ashamed that your brother died in a hotel room. Your brother died on top of a woman in a hotel room. You still have the right to come here to me. If it was a brother that was killed, I know how you would be reacting. How do we console ourselves? I cannot believe that Kevin was still cheating on me <laughs> after everything he promised me. He promised me that he was never going to go back to Sandra again. <laughs> he was looking for a child. It took you time to conceive for him. And that was why he cheated on you with Sandra. And you know that. But Sandra did not give him a child. <laughs> I took him for him. After I gave birth to Salvador. Pregnant, so two months. We are pregnant, <laughs> and the men are nowhere to be found. <laughs> Kenneth, Kenneth died in the police custody. <laughs> Kelvin died in the hotel. <laughs> now Sandra is nowhere to be found. <laughs> I am broken. I don't even know where. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Kelvin, why? Why did you tear my heart? Why you tore my heart into shreds, God? Can I ever get over this pain? Kill <sighs> me, why? Why kill me? <laughs> Oh, Lisa. Chidima, my daughter, is already pregnant. Two months for her husband. I, I, I guess that is why she rejected your proposal. You know, she's pregnant for her ex-husband, Kenneth. Mama, first off, I want to say I'm truly sorry for your huge loss. Okay, and I know this is not the right time to talk about I and Chidima. But I want to assure you that I truly love your daughter. I sincerely love her. And I'm ready to make her my wife, even with the pregnancy. Huh? Yes, Mama, I'm doing this in good faith. Listen, I'm only doing all this because I want her to know how much I truly love her. I love her unconditionally. So please, understand that I will never stop loving your daughter, Mama. What? Hey! Hey! Thank you so much, my son. Thank you. You're indeed a good man. It is rare to see such outpour of love for a girl in such condition. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey. 
Um, Mama, please, just keep reminding her that I'm here waiting for her. Okay? I will. Please, Mama. I will, my son. I will. I will do everything to convince her to be for you. Okay, Mama. Thank you. Um, Ogaloya, you are not going to leave anything. This woman killed my nephew and she must leave this house today. Or we will go to the village and bring the youths of our village and they will come to this city and wreak havoc. You must live here. It's wow. your fault. You are joking. Ah. And you know you cannot do anything. You see, this is your plan. It will not work. Do you know why? If you dare me, I will kill you. <laughs> it's your fault. If you dare me, I'm going to kill you. Look at you. Do I look like a child to you? Or do I look like someone that can kill my husband? Yes, you look like it. In fact, you, you are someone that can kill somebody. You have killed our, our, our own brother with your harsh and wicked and uncontrollable mouth. You pushed him to his death. That is a fact life. Kelvin was cheating on my friend and he died on top of a woman. So what are you saying? Shut what? up, you. Shut up. We invited you into this case. Who are you? Okay. Who was that? Dorothy, don't mind these people. They are mere dramas. I can stage and control them. They cannot do anything and they know it. You people know it. You cannot do anything. Okay. Please, we shall please, see. please, please, please. I need you all to respect the will of my late client in person of Mr. Kelvin Wachiko. I'm only here to read out his will as written by him when he was very much alive. Can you go on? Um, Thank you. Barrister, read the will. Just read it. But it will not stop us from doing what we are here for. Because this woman must leave this house today. Exactly. We are very ready for you. You will see. We are very ready for you. Before you call down your police, well, what could you call you see? This is the will of late Mr. Kelvin in Wachiko. He wrote, I read this will. In utmost honesty and in good faith. I plead with my entire family that this will should be respected and regarded in any circumstance it may be. This is my asset. I have currently 4.4 billion naira in total of my fall account. 1 billion naira in 14 bank accounts, 2 billion naira in crystal bank accounts, 1 billion naira in Danish account, and 400 million naira in winning bank account. I have in my residence 200 million naira where my wife and kids are living. I have three filling stations in the city of Abuja, Kevin filling stations for 15 plots of land in the city, 15 plots of land in my village, and I have three duplex under rent in Guarimpa and Wuzi, Abuja. The total number of four cars. My resident both in Abuja and in my hometown shall be given to my wife, Adez in Wachuku. And the six plots of land both in the village and in Abuja, and the duplex in Wuzi and the cash of 1.5 billion naira with a car. The three filling stations shall be shared amongst my two sons, Munachi and Salvador. Munachi as the first son shall have two filling stations. While Salvador will take one of the filling stations, Jasmine, my daughter, will inherit the two duplex and eight plots of land, 1.1 billion naira cash as my first and only daughter. Mr. Barrister, I think there's a mix up somewhere. There's a mix up. And what is the mix up, ma'am? Munachi and Jasmine are not my late husband's children. They are children of Kenneth. Yes. They are not his children. You are confusing us. Yes, I'm lost. I'm only reading out the will as stated here by your late husband. And I'm trying to correct you that they are not his children. They are my sister's kids. Please, can I finish reading? Hello, uh, uh, read on. Uh, uh, yeah, read on. Read on, read on. Madam, if you're not comfortable, I will advise you to go to court and seek redress. My second wife, Chidima, who is currently pregnant for me, shall inherit. Stop! Huh? What are you reading? What in God's name are you reading? What are you even reading? Are you mad? No, he is not. I am the legitimate wife of Kelvin Wachuku. Yes. This is our court wedding certificate. Hey! And I am pregnant for him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just 
Chidima. Um, what did you say? Can you rephrase yourself? I was never married to Kenneth. Huh? It was all a game planned. Yes. Kelvin deflowered me and got me pregnant under his roof. We got married in court and his plan with his brother, Kenneth, was to get me married traditionally. Yes. As for my children, they are Kelvin's flesh and blood. I have proof. So they have every right to inherit what belongs to them. And as for me, the second wife, I am also going to inherit what belongs to me as it is written in the will. Yes! Oh, am I dreaming? I don't know. I cannot wrap this around my head. Somebody tell me I'm dreaming. It's a dream. Chid Chidima, are you joking? Chidima! Tell us you are joking. Tell us it's not true. What is you joking? Do I look to you like a clown? Yes, you look like a clown. So you were not married to Kenneth. Hey. Hey. He married two sisters. Ufu no funa. Hey! Kevin, no. I need one key, Mary. Me also. What is happening here? Are we still on planet Earth? Hey. What is happening here? What is my kid sister saying? I'm not your kid sister, I'm your co wife. No! 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 Hey. hey whoa. This cannot be true. No, tell me it's not true. Somebody should tell me it's not true. That this is not happening in my house. <laughs> Mama. Mama. If you don't want to come to me in this family, tell this thing never to step my foot in my house again. Never even question. Ade, Ade, please. Calm down. Your sister is here. Let us hear from her. Hey, Dora. <laughs> Chai! It is all right, though. Just calm down. Let's get to the of this. Calm down first. Okonko, my brother. Please. Ask Chichi the mouth with your own very mouth. Ask her. What has Sister Daisy just said here now? Is it true? Is this abomination true? Chidema. Papa. Is it true that you and Kevin have been fooling us over the years? Is it true that the children you claim to have for Kenneth belongs to Kevin? Is it also true that you both secretly had a a court marriage. Please don't reply that these are true. It is very, very true, Papa. And I am pregnant for him. Christ, I can't believe you did such a thing. You better believe it. So of all the men in the world, you had to sleep with your sister's husband. Girl, you crossed the line. So don't even try to justify your actions because you should be blamed. Lisa, no one should blame me. Don't even give me that crap. Don't. Can you hear yourself? You had an illicit affair with your sister's husband, so you should be blamed. Come on, what is wrong with you? 
I don't even know you anymore. See, she got the signal but never cared. I was naive. Ulisa, I was in love. This man came into me. We made love. He called me pregnant. Yes, that was what happened. And see, I'm going to stand strong and fight for my husband. Yes, I'll fight for love. And I'm going to fight for my children. Yes, with the last drop of my blood. They're going to inherit what belongs to their late father. See, Lisa, no one should blame me. You should blame my elder sister. So help me understand, what do you mean when you say we should blame your elder sister? That you opened up your legs for him. He didn't rape you, right? So you should be blamed. No, he didn't. It all happened this way. You want my sister Chiluma to leave this house while your brother stays. It won't work. Ada, I need you to tell me something. Whose house is this? Mine. Yeah, it's your house. It's Who's, house. Whose decision stands in this house? Well, you cannot be asking my sister to leave. Why would you do that? Because I want her to stay in school. That's what students do. They stay in school. Oh, I see. So you don't want me to have eyes on my sister, right? Bad boys and courses to spoil my sister. Hey, you want students. Listen, she stays in this house and that's on period. Ada, listen to me. I'm not trying to fight with you. Alright? The truth is, sometimes we disagree to agree. And I also know that your sister visits sometimes, but I don't want her to live in this house. It's as simple as that. But your brother Kenneth has been living with us. Oh my God. Why? Kevin, why do you treat my family with such disregard? You are not broken. Even people you are not related to. But when it comes to my family, you, you, you're so adamant about the whole thing. It's not fair. My sister lives in this house and she goes to school from here. That's some period. Ada, you win. Tell your sister to come and stay with us. In fact, she should come with her friends, okay? Good night. Your brother Kenneth lives here, eats here, does everything here. Then you want my sister to start, start living in the school. It will not work. Sister, why is your husband insisting I should leave the house? Whereas you, you know my, my school is very close to the house here. No. Who told you that? I'm sorry, sister. But I had I had the both of you arguing last night. You guys were arguing. He was insisting I should leave the house. <sighs> sister, is it not just better I look for somewhere to stay so I won't cause problem between you and your husband? Chidima, you're not causing problem between me and my husband. Eh? Husband and wife quarrel. Don't worry, you understand when you get married. We've agreed that you're going to stay, so you're staying. Hmm? And Where please, stop listening to my husband's conversation with me, so he doesn't create bad opinion in your head about my husband. It's all right, sister. My husband is a nice man. Stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? Go and get ready. You're going to the market with me. sleeping in the room. Good evening, sir. Good evening. 
You should sleep in the room, not on the couch. I don't think so. Where's my wife? She she went to to the church with her friend. And my brother? He went out. Alright, can I get some water to drink? Please? I think so. Good morning. Are you getting ready for school? Yes, sir. I see. All right. Um, yeah. Your sister wants me to give this to you. I think it's for your handouts or something. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Alright. See you around. Bye bye, sir. Yeah. wrong if your husband says your sister should stay in the hostel or get a lodge. When I have a house? <laughs> Dorothy, what are you talking about? Seriously, I don't like the way you're caging this girl. Eh? Alaha enjoys school life now and she's no longer a kid. Listen to me, my sister is still a kid. She's just 23 years old. Maybe when she's in third year or fourth year, she can live her life however she wants. But now, I have to be the big sister that I am. Well, I still support your husband 100%. Allow this girl live in school. Let her make friends. Let her live her life, please. Not when his brother has not agreed to give us space. If his brother leaves, my sister will give us space as well. <laughs> but that your, that your husband brother, he's not a female. He's not. And Chidima is my sister. <laughs> this is your feminism lifestyle, eh? When you think men and women are equal, it's going to land you into a very precarious situation one day. That's your own cup of tea. His brother lives, my sister lives as well. And that's some period, baby girl. Enough of that. There's this new restaurant in town, so I'm taking you there. <laughs> Master planner, my 
flesh and blood is the deceiver. My flesh and blood is the My flesh and blood. It is often a waste of time to persuade a hardy criminal. Change his way. He is capable of anything. A miracle one day, Manja. Oh, my God. What's going on? This girl is all over me. I can't concentrate. My wife won't understand. Oh gosh. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You're cleaning? Yes, sir. Where's my brother? I don't know. He should be downstairs. Okay. Um, make sure you clean that area. Yeah, over there. Chidima, how are you? I'm fine, sir. How's school today? School was fine. All right. Uh, your sister asked you to come get uh, the stuff I got for her. Yes. She's waiting in her car. Jollof rice is fine. Alright. Chill him off. Come. Um, I noticed your... Your zipper is open. Sorry, sir. The zipper is for it. I'll fix it. Stop, Lana. My flesh and blood. 
This office, a waste of time to persuade me, had a criminal to change his way. Who's it? Come in. Want me. It's not what you think. I want you to. Of I can't hold it any longer. It's not what you think. Just relax, okay? He's the I know you want me to do this. Don't you? I'm listening. He was surprised I was still a virgin. He never believed it. We are so ashamed of ourselves. Yes. I. It was after the first time we 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 made love. 
he tried to take off from the house but my sister was so she was so dumb she was just so so uncaring to to know what was going on that is it and what happened next and i began to sleep with my sister oh, we, we made love oh. whenever my sister is not around oh. everywhere in the car in the house in the office oh. and and i wasn't regretting it and i didn't regret it gosh do you know what it means to fall in love with a good man i know i was wrong but i felt what i was doing was right and I wanted him more, and and that that is it. Gosh, this is so irritating. I can't believe my ears right now. So what then happened? He tried to send you out of the house after sleeping with you. Yes. After the first time we met, love, we never saw each other again till two months, and then I was madly in love with him. It was when my sister refused me leaving the house. For the second time, that was when all this thing started. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know, I didn't realize you haven't done it before. But I appreciate it. I'm happy you gave it to me. I love you. Oh, you too. Kenneth, brother, like I said, um, you need to get ready. You're going to Brazil next month. I made all the arrangements and um, documents ready. So you're traveling next month to Brazil. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Auntie. One more thing. Um, I need you to be in your best behavior. Yes. I promise you, I will. Please, do not disappoint me. Alright, so get your things ready. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jidim, sister, come and sit here. Are you seeing any guy in your school? No, I've not seen anybody, sister. So, why do you always act lost and cold? You don't even have time to discuss with me anymore. Only sleeping. What is wrong with you? Sister, you know we are having our exams, that's why. Exams? 
So it's your exam that is making it all asleep. Sister, I had a headache day, please. Um, I'm tired. Let me rest. Please, my love. Ada, you told me in confidence. If my brother leaves, she leaves. You said that to me months ago. Yes, baby, but you know what I'm scared of. I don't want her out of my sight. <sighs> Ada, your sister is not a child. All right, you've protected her enough. No. What do you mean, no? Listen, she needs to live her own life, okay? She needs her own privacy. Come on. Oh, darling, please allow her to stay just for this semester. Next semester she leaves, please. I, I don't know what else you want me to say. I, I'm, I'm short of words. You're pregnant. Yes. Does your sister know about this? She doesn't. She doesn't have to know. So you're not going to tell her? This... This is an abomination. I can't. I can't keep the pregnancy. I don't like that word. I can't. You can't. I've been married to your sister for four years without a child. So this pregnancy is important to me. You're going to keep it because I'll marry you. She's going to kill Listen to me. I understand how you feel. But like I said, I've been married to your sister for four years without a child. Everyone thinks I'm impotent. So this child is important to me because it proves that I am not impotent. My sister is going to kill me. Listen to me. Let me worry about that. I promise to take care of that. Don't you trust me? Look at me. I love you. Be hidden forever. You cannot eat a crab without the rain. People's attention. Ah, Kenneth, I need your help. You have to do this for me. You are not only doing it for me, your brother. 
you're doing it for the entire family. I promise to reward you. Oh, brother, you know... I, I know. I know how you feel. But this is very, very important. Listen to me, henceforth, you're me and I'm you. Because everything I have belongs to you. You're my only brother. I have big plans for you. And that is why you have to wait. Henceforth, you'll accept her as your wife. You'll accept the pregnancy. And after the child is born, I'll marry her in court. Please. I will not get married to her. No, you're not getting married to her. Nobody said you will. I'll get a house for her. To the general public, both of you are married and you live together. But the house originally belongs to her. For how long, brother? My life and dreams will be on hold. Listen, like I said before, I have a plan for you. Okay? At some point, you're going to be free. And that's when I'm bold enough to take her as my wife. But I have to tell you when that should happen. Now this is the plan. You're going to take her to her village. At some point, you tell her people that you're no longer interested in marriage. And that's why I come in. All right? Please. Okay. And you, I totally understand how you feel. But you don't have to be afraid. Kenneth is my only brother. My blood brother. So he's not coming to touch you or have sex with you. And I want you to be bold. Alright? Don't be scared of your sister. I'm going to handle everything. And... Technically you're my wife. Because you're carrying my child. So by right, I'm supposed to take care of you and take care of the child. Do you understand me? Yes. I need your cooperation. Be hidden forever. I you cannot him. eat a crab without the rain. People's attention. Wow. Seems like a dream to me. I can't believe all of this is happening. So deep and terrible. I will accept it and his wife. Nothing can change it. Legitimate wife of Kenneth Machuku. Do you realize how deeply hurt I am right now? I'm, I'm, I'm speechless and my heart is broken. I'm sorry. It is not my fault. So you're pregnant with this child? Really? I am pregnant for my late husband. Wow. Wow. I can't believe two sisters is getting married to the same man. I love him. I, I, I love him. I, I don't care. Yes. I'm going to prove to him to make sure I take what is rightly mine. Yes, I will do that. So I guess there is little or nothing I can do at this point, right? Lisa, nothing can be done here. Oh. 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 Hey, Mama. How is it doing? Don't know. This kind of abomination is happening now that our brother is not well. What are we going to do? Our in-law has broken our hearts. Why? I'm speechless and confused. I don't even know what to say or what to do. Ada is pregnant for her late husband. 
So is she the maddest younger sister? What sort of thing is this? I, I want to die. My husband, please stop saying things like this. You are not going anywhere. You're not going to die. Please, be gone on now. You go. It's okay. What the Ezema said has come to reality. Okay. I wish I never saw this abomination. And okay. I wish that could go fast. My husband, please take me. You're not dying. There is a solution to every situation. We must find a solution to this. That, mm -hmm. that is the solution. We have come to the height of it. <coughs> I cannot bear it any longer. Hey. Chidima. Chidima has killed me. Chidima has killed every cell inside of me. I, I, I just want to die. I want to die. You will not die. I am begging you. You will not die. Don't leave me in the midst of nowhere. You cannot be gone. Stop saying things like this. You are not going to die. You will leave. Yes. This is not the first time. Your place is not the first place. We have to find a solution to this. There must be a solution. Please stop saying you will die. You are not going anywhere. You are not dying. It's not the end of the world. There must be a way out. Yes. Wait. Please stay here with me. Hey.
Bonacci. Yes, mommy. Take. Mommy, mommy, I want. Don't worry. Yours is inside. Where is Jasmine? She's inside sleeping. You can sit here and eat. Cannot accept this abomination. Whether uh, our sons Kelvin and Kenneth uh, lied or played trick on us, we cannot accept you two women to be members of our family. Yes, it is a taboo for two sisters to get pregnant for the same man, and it is abomination for that same two sisters to get married to that same man. So you see, it cannot work. It, it, it's a sacrilege. What's we can't accept that. No. Hey. Abomination. A taboo. A very big one at that. So both of you, I don't know what you're doing. You're just wasting your time. You cannot be part of our family. Therefore, every document or every property that our brother has, you have to submit it to us. Yes, submit it to us. I will take care of it very well. You find your way. I don't know what you two are saying. But you both know that my late husband, Kelvin, married only one wife. In the eyes of God, a man. Kelvin wedded me traditionally. And we wedded in church. You two can attest to it. So whoever you are referring to as wives has no place in this house. Never. <laughs> well, my darling husband Kelvin married me legally under the constitution of the marriage law. Yes. By rights, I am his legitimate wife. Hmm? I have my certificates. Besides, eh, 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 if we should put it in a normal way, I am supposed to be his first wife because I gave him the first eh, 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 male child. Yes! You are a fool. You are a fool too. Chinima, you are a very big fool. Kelvin did not wear you traditionally. And he did not wear you in church. You are just an unfortunate fool. A slut. You want to live where he did not sow. Animal. Can you imagine? Let me tell you, I believe in law, whether tradition or not. The constitution has made me the legal wife of my deceased husband. Eh? I have kids, a boy and a girl. Eh? And that thing you're carrying in your stomach, I don't even know if, if, if he's, the, he's the father or not. How dare you? How dare you too? Chidema, how dare you insinuate that I'm pregnant for someone else? Chidema, you a fool. You will not die well, Chidema. That thing on your stomach will kill you. That thing you're looking for, you will see it. Chidema, you are a fool. You are a slut. You are a hopeless girl. I regret every penny that I spent on you. You will not die well. You are, you are a slut. You, that thing you're looking for, you will see it. You're talking 
to me at this. You see the reason it is a taboo for two sisters to marry the same man. You can kill each other. On a man boom one like one of So all these things you you two should go. Uncle, let me let me talk to this fool. I don't know. Look my at my her. husband that I Evil. Kelvin, look at. Look at how you're making this thing insult you. It's not your fault. No, we're a fault today. My For the abominable act that has been done and committed. Now, what do we do now? Because the the test result shows that those children belongs to Kevin. See the mass children; they all belongs to Kevin. Mm. See, Oji, Ada is the one recognized as the wife of Kevin. Kevin married her traditionally. The gods affirmed their marriage as wife of Kevin. But that is not what we are talking about now. In the eyes of the law, too, Tidima is a legitimate wife of Kevin, too. But the law says it, they had court wedding. But Ada did not have court wedding with Kevin. Yeah. Of all, are we talking about court wedding here? We are talking about culture. Culture, which is the main thing of everything done traditionally. It is not about this court wedding you are talking about. It's about our way of life, our way of marriage, the African way, not the Western way. Eh? Court wedding is not recognized in this place. Then, what then becomes uh, the case of uh, Chidema? The way you say, the what have you to say concerning Chidema? I do not recognize her as a wife. I'm a traditional man. And I say it again both of them shall leave. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, it's okay. Yeah, let's go. Chidema, you have killed your father. You have killed your own father. There was nothing we didn't do to make you talk. We asked you. We begged you. We forced you. Yet you shut your mouth. You didn't say a word. You have turned me a widow. You have made me a widow. Oh God, what? You left me in the midst of all this crisis to suffer. Hey! If I'm it's okay. It's okay, Okonkwo, my brother. The last time I saw him, I saw the pains. 
the heartbreak his daughter brought upon him. I suspected he might not make it, and my suspicion have come to reality. Chidema, you have killed your uncle, my brother. It's okay. Abila. Chidema, your abomination just killed your father and brother. And you are happy, ba? There's no problem. Let's be going. We will get to the root of it. Oh, what na you got to be oh, oh, why I want I begged you. I personally begged you to open up to me. I cajoled you. I talked to you like a mother will to a child. Thank you. If we get married, well done. Thank you very much for making me a premature widow. <laughs> Sidima, you have done your work, Sidima. And it was only protecting you as my only sister. <laughs> my flesh and blood. Sidima, how did you pay me back? You stabbed me in my heart, Sidima. How can you be so wicked? <laughs> I trained you to the man. I trained you from secondary school to the university. To the man, I clothed you, I fed you. <laughs> I made sure you were all right. <laughs> to the man, you just made me this way. The ground, the earth, they will speak for me, they will fight you. You will never see anything good in your life. <laughs> Even the kids you claimed we are Kenneth Cinema. I was taking care of them. <laughs> eh, you can stop taking care of them. Their father was a billionaire before he died. Will you shut up? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You shall see the spirit of Baba who fights you until you die. Let it haunt you too. <laughs> you will die a shameful death. Let us let it. Enough! Let, 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 let the spirit of Baba kill you there. What is wrong with you? Enough! You still have mouth to talk. For the crime and outrageous evil you committed in this family. I am the head of this family. I cast and banish you. From being our daughter. You will cook what you eat. You are crying killed your father. He couldn't bear the pain. And the anguish killed him. For that. I. Banish you. From being part of this family. From today. You will cease to be part of us. And you will never step your foot into this house again. I have spoken. And so shall it be. Chidima, your father is late now. So please, you need to make peace with your sister. See, Ulisa, she has to take it. Yes, they have to accept it in good faith. That is the only way peace can reign. Chidima, I need you to understand that what you did was heartbreaking. Okay? So you don't, you don't just expect her to accept you just like that. Why are you here? Kenneth, how are you? Useless. I'm in chain. The chain you and my brother put me into. Look. I really don't care. You trying to tell my sister what has been going on. Who, who, who cares? You think I care? I don't. So why are you here? I'm here to see the face of a murderer. Look, I'll be glad to tell my sister what has been going on between your brother and I. Yes. Tell her I'm married to your brother. I'm your brother's wife.
I regret the day you and my brother subdued me to this. And who cares? Officer! Madam! Move it, move it! Mother! For this day. See, I'm no longer scared. Chidima, you really need to apologize and show some remorse. If not for anything, for the sake of your late father. <laughs> Kulisa, you don't know me. See, if she wants peace, I will give it to her. If she wants war, me I did. Chidima, what are you talking about? No one wants war. Of course we want peace. And besides, both of you are pregnant. Kulisa, please come off it. It, it doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, Abdeze will never hurt to fly. I know her very well, okay? All I just want is for you to team up and fight these elders that are trying to come in. Hey, 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 please, please, please. Please, me, I don't care. You know, you're so difficult to talk to. And honestly, you've changed over the years. This is definitely not the Chidima I used to know. This can't be you. I'm really surprised. But you wouldn't listen. Yes. Your husband had his reasons. He once told you to let this girl go. But you didn't listen. Perhaps that was when all this infidelity started. Yes. Now look at it. Just take a look at it now. A daisy. I'm lost for words right now. I really don't know what to say or do. This is so overwhelming. I understand that you are deeply hurt and this is quite a lot for you to take in. But I need the both of you to make peace. Please, you need to let go of the past. I need peace to reign between the both of you. Please, I'm begging you. Aja. I totally support what he said. The deed has been done. I cannot forgive Chidema. She is not my sister. But you can't continue to keep fighting. There must be peace. Come on. Do you know that Chidema is the cause of my father's death? And the both of you are here preaching forgiveness? Dora Chidema cannot be my co-wife. Hell no! But it is so clear. She was included in the will. And she has legitimate kids for your husband. So what are you going to do? Are you going to kill your sister's children? Or kill the Chidima you once loved and sacrificed so much for? Is that what you're going to do? Come on. There must be peace. Adesi, listen, I'm talking to her already. You just have to forgive her. Find a place in your heart to forgive her, please. Listen, I need the both of you to stop talking to me about forgiving Chidema because I will never forgive her for my dead body. I hate her with everything in me. I hate her with all the blood and water running through my veins. We are faced with what you hated now. No one is happy about all this, but we must embrace reality for the sake of the children. Chidima, please. It's okay, please. I think we should give her some time. Okay, this is a whole lot for her to take in. I can understand she's hurt. Maybe with time she will 
you know, be free with her sister. Uh, um, you see, my dear, I, I'm in support of you. I'm fully behind you. If you are supposed to be taken as a first wife because you gave my late brother beautiful children, a boy and a girl. So how, how are the children? Nay, nah, I don't have all day, please. Eh? Go straight to the point. My kids are with me and they are fine. Ah, okay, let me go straight to the point. You see, you are supposed to be taken as a first wife. You understand? So, all these things you and your sister do, I don't understand. So, I will advise you on what to do to put an end to all this rubbish once and for all. You get it? Now, I think we sh you should wall your sister out of that house completely. So, you possess your position. How? Take How her do do off the scene completely. I will not mislead you. I talk now. How? Ah. Okay. You have to eliminate her, kill her, so that you will take over, have your peace. You understand? Wait, Nay, you're suggesting I should kill my own sister. Yes. Kill her once and for all, so that you take over your position. And, uh, you know, once that's happened, you have your peace. Nobody drags anything with you. You have no problem with anybody. You are just in charge. After all, you have a son for, for my brother. And besides, you won't do it as if nobody will know that you did it. Just send the spiritual, uh, you know, attack on her. She will just break down and just die. There won't be any trace. What? No. Yes. And you have to also make me happy too. By giving me some lands, you know, three or four land, you know. You know, even if it's... Um, one in Abuja that the lawyer is in the way one of the house you give me maybe three in the village let me also enjoy my brother's uh, money with you you know mm. yes you, uh, don't be surprised my dear as we speak now you don't even know what your sister is doing you, she might be planning to even kill you you don't know don't forget she's a wounded lion now you know how women are, yeah. They can devour anything devourable. So before she divorces you, you have to first of all devour her. But you know, that one you give to me is very important. <laughs> yeah, at least say, uh, you know, one in the city and three in the village, you know. It's good. But take her out. Nice. Before Yes. Nice. Think about it, my dear. Think about it. Hmm? Ah. Uh -huh. Since it has gotten to this level. I'm now on your side. Yes, I'm standing by you completely. I declare my support for you. You see, what your sister did is evil. Nukutalo, greater abomination, greater height of sacrilege. The gods are angry. Even the spirit of your papa is not resting in peace. It is not happy. Because he died because of this. Um, you see, what I'm trying to proffer is a fine solution to end this menace. Eh? And the solution at this moment is to take her off. Completely! Take her off! Eh, just, eh, just take her off and everything will normalize. You will regain your peace. Yes. What do you mean by taking her off? <laughs> you see, I know she is your blood. But the war and unrest in your heart can never end. So long she's still alive. So, I'll take you to a powerful Dibia in the village. Very powerful. You just call her out on a mirror. Then you make your choice. Either you strike her, bah, there, once, or you send an accident and destroy her or you send a spiritual snake to just one point boom she's dead either way she don't go 
And uh, she will just go like that and you regain your peace. You enjoy your husband's wealth in peace. Uh -huh. But it will cost you. It will cost you. It will cost you much. Uh, just a few plots of land. Either five or six. Uh -huh. And uh, we end all these things once and for all. Huh? Hmm. Sir, wait. Are you asking me to kill my sister Chidima? Yes, yes. Um, no, us, us. Let us kill her. And uh, all this, once and for all. Uh -huh. You are the one that is recognized as my nephew's wife by tradition. Your sister cannot just come and uh, start ripping where she she did not sew. Huh? Uh, what are you trying to do? Uh, what is that? Uh, are you trying to call somebody? Oh. No, sir, I'm with you. Ah, okay. hey, make your call, make your call. <laughs> Hello, sir. Is that the commissioner? Commissioner for me? Yes. I need you to send 10 boys to my house immediately. I need them to pick up someone. I hope everything is fine. Yes. One of the evil elders is in my house right now, and I need you to pick him up. And you did not tell me that I, I'm taking a risk. Ah! Sabi, fast about it. It's not me. I can't be here when that one happens. Of long and all. Hey! Fool! What have I not done to please you, one name? What is my crime, After all my effort to see you through, I get nothing.
Together, are you like that eating in bread and drinking mineral? Come on, come and join me, I'm fam. Mama, we are coming now. Let us do something and come up and come and join you. You know, it's strange that isn't fun. What have you used your strength to do today? Mama, don't be walking. We are coming. Oh, come on, one year, yeah, for Mama, they're taking from the house to the farm. Did you know the energy that you put in? Let us refuel. The person that will do the farm, you are doing the eating. No problem. Mm -hmm. That's why I joined my man. We're not for food that we know you Mama, Mama, come on, I'll beat this girl, yeah. I'll beat you. Mama, one at all, you just leave me alone. You know what? Who only food? But check up, I'll beat you, yeah. Hey, join us. Can you imagine? No atom of fear. Me a days, they kill my own sister. My husband did him. Oh no, Misha. I want my daughters to settle this their matter amicably. I want them to come back together in peace. Mazi, is it I want you to lift that banishment from my daughter. I want her to come back to this family. No matter who she's my daughter, it's my blood. Oh, Mama God, whatever she has done, I'm forgiving her. Let her come back to the same family, all of us. Let us be together. The man knows. I can't afford to see my children scattered. This banishment, the anguish is too much. I will die of pain. Because. Well, we are the custodians of the tradition of this land, and we must do things accordingly. We have already decided on her matter, and there's no going back. Chidima killed her father, our brother, and we have to do what we need to do as the men in this family, and that is what we have done. If I'm she didn't have food all of us. She really dealt with us. She disgraced the name of this family and robbed the family name on the mud. Before man, come to think of it, how can a younger sister connive with the elder sister's husband to come here and do fake marriage with the younger brother of the sister's husband? No, that's a very big calamity. I don't see how what you want us to do in this. See, we have done what we're supposed to do traditionally. We have done the necessary sacrifice to appease the gods. To wash our hands of this abomination. We have also, in that sacrifice, we also cover the whole family to see that no member of this family is part of that abomination she committed. If we did anything otherwise, the gods will be angry with us. So her matter is already closed. She's my child. Stand up, sit down. Stand up and sit down. I say you should stand up. Sit down if you want me to talk. Ifoma, no, no, let me ask you. What are you begging us to do? Ifoma, 
Chidema committed an abomination. Oh, Meraro. Oh, mistake. That mistake is haunting all of us. It's unheard of. Go around the whole village and community and ask questions. If we do otherwise, it will affect each and every one of us, including you. Let us wait. Let us calm down and know what the mind of the gods are before we can do anything. Look at your husband, your uncle is no more. Hey! Don't work it. We don't want to lose any other person. I'm engineering work as well now. We cannot throw away the water that we used to bathe the baby and the baby. It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. It's okay. We good. have had you. Like I said, calm down. We will know what to do. But let the gods, the anger of the gods, let it come down first. We have had you. We have had you. Just calm down. We know what to do. We have had you. We have had you. We have Okay. Hey! Chidema, leave this house before I do something we both will regret. Ada, what will you do? There is nothing you can do. Hmm? You think I'm scared of you? Don't dare me for that! Chidema, what do you want? Eh? Hey, leave this place. I'm not here for you. Ada, go in there, get those documents and hand them over to me right now. Hmm. Even in your grave, your ghost will never smell it. Really? You think I'm still a baby? Eh, Ada? Go in there, get those documents and hand them to me right now. Since you have cleared my doubts, you know what? Just wait here. I would get the documents for you. Wait here, don't go anywhere. Chidima! You! Hey, dummy, shut up and leave my presence. I'm not here for you. <laughs> you of all people, Chidima! You did this to your sister! After everything she did for shut you! Shut up, you dirty man! I'm not, I'm not here for you! Before you end up in jail! Oh, really? You've suddenly forgot the care, the attention, everything she sacrificed for you, Chidima! I will give you a dirty slap if, 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 if you're still standing here. <laughs> Ada, please! Ada, please! Ada, please! Ada, please! Ada, please! Ada, please! Leave this place Ada, now! Ada, please! Don't shoot me, Ada! Ada Don't don't worry. I'm coming back for you. Dora, get out of here! I'm coming for you! Leave this Ada. house! You go! Ada, please! Please! Ada, please! Please! Ada, please! Ada, Ada, please! Ada, Ada, please! Ada, please! My flesh and please! Ada, let's go inside. Let's go inside, please. Please, my son. Mom, be kind, young girl. Where are you? Talk to my children for me. Help me talk to them. They have all abandoned me to face themselves, fighting themselves unto death. They want to kill themselves. They don't take my calls anymore. She never thinks I, I hate her. <laughs> How can a mother hate her own child? No matter what, I will never hate her. Mama, it's alright. It's alright. I've heard you. I will talk to them. Okay? I will try and talk to them again. <laughs> and, and the elders, I have refused to forgive Chidema. I don't even know how to go about that word. It's okay, Mama. About the elders, I'm talking to them already. And I believe very soon they will change their mind. I believe so. Mama, please. You really have to stop crying. Everything will be fine. Everything will not be fine. Everything will not be fine. Oh, my children. My children, they want to kill themselves. Mama, it's okay. It's okay. You know, crying is not good for you. Eh? Everything will be fine, Mama. I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. Hmm. Oh dear. Now, Ricky, my brother. What are we going to do about our late brother's children warring against themselves? We cannot allow them to continue like this. We cannot. 
because they need to settle this matter so that they can bury their father. Mazin, honestly, I don't really know what to do or what to say. My issue here is that Ada refused to accept her fate. Exactly. And Chidema is not backing her down either. She's not backing down. No. I don't know. She's standing her ground. Uh, let her stand. But our decree on her still stands. She will never be part of our, of our family again. Oh, my hmm. uh, But uh, are we not at least going to give her the chance to bury her father? What are you saying? Then what? What is the essence of burning her in the first place? If you allow her to come and bury her father, that means all our effort is in vain. Ada is equal to the task. Ada can do all that. Ada can bury her father without her. Let her stay out so that what I are on her aroma is for mellow. Yes. You have a point. But we need to talk to Ada. To know that to bury Okunko, Okunko choose where they choose. I know. To bury Okunko is not an uh, one, one naira business. I know. Uh -huh. I know. I know. I, but I know that she's equal to the task. Is it not Ada that I've been feeding Chidema? Yeah, what did Chidema have? She has nothing. Okay. It's Ada that I've been feeding her. So Ada is equal to the task. Um, she will do it. We'll talk to her. Yes. I'm, I'm sure I agree with you. I know she can. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to her. Mm. I know she can do that. Yes. I'm telling you, Oji, that woman is evil. She nearly arrested me with 10 policemen. I had to run for my life. I ran to Nakwe's son's house. I slept there. And the next morning, I landed in this village. You don't mean it, honestly. I'm telling you, you can't believe it. Ah. But what? You didn't tell me you are going to see her. Uh, I went there to threaten her further. I even went with some boys and some forces. Eh? <laughs> but let's not go there. Let's not go there. What's your fault? Are you sure did he didn't go there for something different? Huh? Because how can you be traveling without carrying me along? What do you mean something different? I went to the city and I decided to branch there. That's all. Yes. Anyway. So, what about... Uh, uh, how do we now go? I mean, our plans, our plans. Plans? Yes. Which plans again? Plans. Did you know here when I said that uh, Commissioner of Police is now involved? And you are talking of plans. Uh, please don't involve me again. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want police case. So, you mean we're going to allow those two sisters to take over our proper, the properties of our brother's son, let's brother's son, Kevin, knowing fully well they killed him? Nobody killed anybody. Oji. Nobody killed anybody. Kevin practically died on top of a woman in the hotel. So, what are you saying here? He did no, nobody killed him. So, please, please, please. Let's 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 get out of here. Bam. I have a plan. You have a plan. Yes. What is the plan? Let's see tomorrow. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Let's just tomorrow, see tomorrow then. Tomorrow then. Uh, see you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> My dear brother. Yeah. Dora. Yes. Help me call Olisa. He knows what to do. Please. Ana, you can go. Move. Stop wasting our time and move. Don't move. push me. Ma Don't push me. I'll move. Don't. Stop wasting our time, please. Move. No. You are not going to take it. No, you won't. Uh, I heard that you closed the flame stations and chased out the tenants in the house. Ha! That's a strong woman where you pull out the... You are very strong indeed. Thank you, Nye. Uh, but I advise you, you are going to be careful. Extremely careful. Because your sister is coming back to bite you. And she's going to bite you so hard. Nay, don't worry, I'm careful. No, not what I mean, just being careful. I mean, you're not going to fight this battle with just physical hands. You're going to add something to it. Uh, you see, your sister may first go diabolical on you that she's not going to give you a breathing space. The case is already in courts. 
and I'm winning already. What if you take her off? Yes, you take her off. After you've taken her off, you now have breathing space, you have peace. You have all your late husband's properties. Eh? It, look, if you don't take this advice, you are going to regret it. But if you will agree to give me just five pieces of land, I'm going to take you to where it can be done. You mean to kill her? Yes, that's the only way. To kill her. If you kill her, you have peace. If you don't kill her, she may kill you first. You see, I heard that Oji has been advising your sister to eliminate you. So you better take this advice. If, if, Oji is a very bad man. I know him very well. He's my brother. Hmm. Yes. I see. So Oji is now advising my sister to, to kill me. Uh, please, don't tell him I say so. But yes. Hey. I understand. Don't worry. Uh -huh. hmm. Yes, if you just give me only five plus of land, I'll help you do it. Just five plus of land and it will be done. Nay, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'll get back to you. Ah. Yeah, I'll get back to you. Uh, okay. Don't worry. Okay. You get back to me just like that. And she just walked away like that. You get back to me. Not even caring to give me any money. No matter how small. Idiots. Fools. Okay now. I'll be waiting. You get back to me. But I was driving carefully. Ada, you have to calm down. But I am calm. Chidima will certainly hear from me for arresting me in my own house. Ada, you heard what the commissioner said. There must be peace. You have to make peace with her. That's the only way to show sign of maturity. Peace is a sign of weakness to me. Hello, Chidima. Yes, please, I need to see you right away. I just left the village. I'm on my way to the airport. Chidima, for Christ's sake, you should give me the chance to talk to you and your elder sister. Someone needs to talk to you and your elder sister. Do you realize your sister almost had an accident on her way back from the state CID? Yes! Her friend told me that. Listen, all this locking of shops, houses, and gas stations has to stop. Okay, it has to. And I've reported you girls to the Igwe of the town. He wants to have a discussion with the both of you. You said you're not coming. Chidima, what is wrong with you? Don't you want this matter to... <laughs> Hello? Hello? I get nothing. This girl is no longer the cheating man. She's not. She's definitely a changed person. Tell my children to stop fighting. It is the handiwork of the enemy. Tell them to stop fighting themselves. Tell them to embrace peace.
this is what we could have done this than going to her. Huh? Let's all join force together. You understand? Join forces. And just eliminate this, 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 this oh my, oh my, yeah, no. Just eliminate them once and for all. You are very right. Oh. The, even the, the, the people will even believe that it is calamity that killed them. That's what they will believe. Um, um wait one, wait one. Uh, you know, the walls have ears. Uh, mm. You don't know who might be listening. Uh, you know, you are very right. And then we'll claim everything and send their children away. They are talking about uh, who cares about all those ones. Let's talk about ourselves becoming billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> you have it, my brother. You are not far. You are not far from the truth. What is? What did she come to do? Did you, Did you invite her? I'll ask you that. How can I invite her? The one I know. Don't worry, till she get here. Uh, 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 hold it there. Hold it there. Please. I want the both of you to stay clear from me and my sister's issues. Yes, I won't warn you again. This is my last warning to the both of you. If I hear any more of this, the both of you will be as good as dead. Huh? Yes. <laughs> stay clear. The both of you should stay clear. Old fools. Huh? Oh, say again. She's dead. Bye bye to your grave. Don't mind her. She's as good as dead. Hmm. Then so we are talking of eliminating them. Uh, but I thought she wanted her sister out of the way. Or is she getting confused or what? The ghost did it. In fact, I can't wait for the for the day to come. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> that I will put to the say no. Hi. Me too. I can't wait. Oh my god. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> that is the good word. Hi. Yeah. Uh, threatening who? Uh, nah, check it. I'm well come. Can't wait to get him. Let me get you a drink. Chidima, I am warning you. No, what will you do? You want to shoot me? No, shoot me. Ah, there's a shoot me. I dare you to do that. You won't try it. Hmm. You sports brat. You sports brat that I trained calling me by my name. <laughs> no, who are you? An ordinary housewife without degree. That's who you are. Now get the documents. Ah, there's a don't try me. If you have blood running in your veins, shoot! You're not getting any documents, idiot. Dora, food is ready. Are they okay? What do you mean? Why are you asking me if I'm okay? Stop! What is it? I had a dream. A very terrible dream. It's about you and your younger sister, Chidima. What about us? I dreamed how she shot you dead. Right here, in this spot. Stop the drama, of course. That's not possible. I know ah. what I saw. It is so real. I'm serious. You really need to be careful because of your unborn child, please. Stop being dramatic. She will never shoot me. I'm serious. I'm really worried. Please. Be very good at all. Daydreamer, Joseph. Stay and be dreaming. Joseph. Let's go. Let's go now. I'm 
Onyasina Hey, 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 One has left. It is done. She's on her way to the other side now. Sit down, sit down. I told you, I believe in what Nunchato does. Eh? So it is done now. It has been done. It is done completely. Hey. This one is a good thing. You know. it, it, it is now remaining uh, her sister. One of these days she will sleep and she will not wake up. Hey! All good enough, yo. <laughs> By then, you know, we'll be taking over. Mm. All the whole properties, yes. the money, this one, that one, that everything will now belong to us. That, hey! that is called teamwork. Teamwork? Yes. Complete teamwork. Uh, and then we'll come out fully and claim all the properties, all that belong to us. But hey. Kevin is weak, he still you. Very stingy. You can imagine where his uncle is just giving just two plots of land. Two, two, two plots, just, oh. just two. Out of the plots of land, he's scattered everywhere. Including eh? the billion, billion, billions in the, in the account. Everything. Can you imagine? But now we will claim even the filling stations. One day. Yeah. How do you want them? Offer? <laughs> How do you want them? I'm going to give you a few questions. No, I'm going to give you a few questions. I'm going to give you a few questions. I'm going to give you a few questions. Doctor, please, so what's the situation? I must confess, the chance of her surviving the accident is minimal. She has lost a lot of blood. And she has miscarriage at the process. But don't worry, I'll see what I can do. Oh, doctor, please, you have to do everything you can to save her, okay? Listen, money is not the problem, all right? Just do all you can, put in your very best, I'm begging you, please. Sir. Don't worry, like I said, we are trying our best, oh. you know? If you don't mind, just excuse me, I'm coming. Okay, doctor, but please, put in your very best. Please, I'm begging you. Don't, don't worry. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I can calm down. My 
Ada, calm down. Oh my God. Ada. What's wrong with this car now? It wouldn't start. Ada, calm down. Okay, you can use the other car. Calm down. Dora, the whole cars in this compound are faulty. Oh my God. Ada. Should I do now? What sort of thing is this now? Calm down. This is still alive. That's what Olisa said. No, let me just follow this. I need to find out the situation of things. And uh... Oh my god, Olisa, pick the phone! Ada, calm down. Hey, calm down. Why is he not picking now? Hello, hello, Olisa. How is she? The accident was fatal. Oh my god. Are you sure she's still alive? Are you sure she's still breathing? She is. Um, okay, please. Can you give her the phone? No. Oxygen. No, oh my god, Olisa. I don't want anything to happen to my sister. I'm, I'm trying to start the car. It wouldn't start. I don't even know what is happening to me. Do you know what? Please do everything humanly possible. I'll be with you in a GP, please. Oh my gosh. Dasi, you need to calm down. Please. Dora, my sister is almost dead. I don't want anything to happen to so, her. So you really wish this your sister is still alive? Eh? eh? What are you saying? Dora, you wish my only sister dead. God forbid, nothing will happen to my sister. Stop now. I can never wish my sister dead. Wait, do you think I should call my mom? Ada, it's okay. Don't call your mom. Everything will be fine. I should not call her. Yes. Okay. Do you, do you know what? Let's get it. Let's, let's go. Let's just go. Ada! I can't jump now. Ada! 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 I get nothing from you Every time All you gave me Was back by the betrayer of trust I breathe betrayer of trust I breathe to the man, to the man Chidima, please wake up. Chidima, don't do this to me. Chidima, please. You cannot stop breathing. Doctor, doctor. Chidima, please. Chidima, I love you. Chidima, you're my only sister. Mama, please, no. Go, Chidima, don't do this to me. Chidima, please. Chidima, see, I forgive you. I forgive you with all my heart. Chidima, please. Chidima, you cannot die, you. Chidima will be my sister. Jesus. Chidima, please. Don't come now. Chidima, 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 please now. Just wake up. Wake up and come to me. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you with all my heart. Chidima, please. Chidima, please now wake up. Please now. I don't have anybody in this world. Mama, Mama, please now call the pastor. <laughs> Mama, Am I? What am I doing here? And who are you? Do not waste my time. We have a very long journey to go. Let's go. I'm not coming with you. I'm not. When we get to our destination, we will understand better. I am only a messenger to take you home. Be fast, Chidima. We do not have all day. 
No, I'm not coming with you. I'm not coming with you. Leave her alone. Papa, Papa, please save me. I am assigned to accompany her home. She must go home with me. It is not yet her time. Help me, Papa. Papa, please don't let her take me. Please, Papa, have mercy on me. Chidima, you must go home. You had a chance to repent why on earth, but you choose to be wicked. You choose to be wicked to your sister and everyone around you. You must go home till the last judgment. No. I have the final say. She was my earthly daughter, my flesh, my blood. No. No. That is the reason why you wander in the wilderness of death. She must go home with me. You messenger of death. I command you to go back to where you came from. Now. Chidima. You cost me so much pain. Papa. Thank you, Papa. Papa, please, I'm sorry. I have come to rescue you and your sister. So that you will not come this side untimely. Go and make up with your sister. If you refuse, both of you shall cross the path. And the next is judgment where you will suffer in anguish. Be kind. Learn to forgive. Do not hate. And show love. That is your way to life on earth. Run. I say run. You shall cross many rivers. No matter how tasty you are, do not drink water. Do not eat anything on your way. Because if you do, you shall remain with us. Now, go! The messengers of death are angry with you. Do not let them come back. Go now. Wow, this is a miracle. My dear, how are you feeling? I'm fine, doctor. Well, ma'am, as you can see, she's very, very weak. She needs food to regain her strength. Please, just get her food. That's fine, doctor. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. Mama, I will have to go and get her food. Mama. Please, be strong. Nothing will happen to you. You're fine already. I'll be back. See, your sister called a pastor, and the pastor has been here praying for the past 12 hours. And God came down mightily, and you are delivered. You are alive in the land of the living. Maybe not nothing will happen to you. Amen. Oh, thank She's you. Yes, she should be weak because she's coming from a very, very far journey. Mm. But we thank God for everything. May our God be praised. Amen. Thank you, Father. My uncles, Mama, 
sister. Please, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for everything I did. I did abominable things. Yes, I'm evil. Please, I ask for your forgiveness. I'm so sorry. Please, you push you forgive me. Please, Mama. That is. One. Forgive your little sister. She's your only sister. As an evil one, I did not know. Oh, you boy, who say blood is thicker than water? I see boom, you were in the image. Mahalo. Forgive her. Oh, I know she hurt you. Mana Mahalo. Oh, Nem. Oh, sister. Please, I'm sorry. My uncles. Please, I don't want to be cast out. I'm so sorry, please forgive me. Mama, please, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Hmm. You say you saw your father in the land of the dead. Yes, uncle. And he rescued you from the hands of the old woman who wanted to send you back to your last destination on earth. Yes, so Papa. He asked me to go back on earth. Then I saw Obina and Ulimba. Obina and Uli? Yes. The baby that died in my womb. She was supposed to be my eldest daughter. No. That's not Obina and Ali, you saw. That's not them. But let's leave that for now. There's more important thing than that. Mazen. Chidimba. Uncle. You see the love of parents. After all you did, he still rescued you from the land of the dead. He still saved you. If not for him, you would have died in coma. But he wants you to come back and learn your lessons and correct your mistakes. I think I'm seeing a more humble children, man. I, I just hope you have learned your lesson. Yes. You are welcome. Welcome back. And welcome back to the family. Mm -hmm. We all have forgiven you. Oh. The banishment has been lifted. Okay. You are now part of us. Thank you. You can interact with anybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, my husband. Okay. Thank you. Look when you see me, I'm not going to be here. Oh, I'm going to be here. Have you seen they have forgiven you? Straighten your life. Oh, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. Oh, 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 Thank you, Mama. <laughs> I forgive you. I forgive you with all my heart. <laughs> Thank you, sister. She did I don't want to lose you the way we lost Obina. I forgive every wrong that you have done to me. I accept you back as my sister. I love you. I love you too, sister. <laughs>
Ofo. Ofo. Mais ofo. Mais ofo. 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 Hey. Ishada. Ishofada. Ofo. Elisa. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being a good friend. Thank you for making sure I and my sister are reconciled. Come on now, that's okay. I mean, you don't expect me to walk away from you, even in your trying time. Hmm? And as for your pregnancy, I'm sorry about that. Really sorry about your miscarriage. It's fine. It is okay. At least my life didn't go for it. Yeah, that's true. So when will you be going back to Abuja? Mm, tomorrow or next. And you? Um maybe next week. Okay. You know I'll be staying back for my dad's burial. And, and Kelvin. Yeah, 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 that's true, that's true. So please, do take care of yourself, okay? Lisa. Yeah? I love you. You're a good man. Thank yeah. you for everything. And you will always be the queen of my heart. I love you. Mm. Go well. Take very good care of yourself. Hmm? I'll Maybe. give you a call when I get there. We'll be expecting. Huh? Don't stress yourself, dude. I won't. All right. Man. All right. Yeah. Bye bye. Aja, wake up. It's me, Kelvin. I'm here to apologize. I hurt you so much. I betrayed your love for me. I betrayed your trust for me. I treated you so bad. I tried to be a good man, but I was not. I was carried away. I feel so ashamed of myself. I'm here to beg for your forgiveness. I have been wandering without rest. My soul can't rest in peace because you haven't forgiven me. Aja, please, forgive me. I promise never to hurt you again. It's not your fault. I was blinded by sisters love and protection. I'm sorry I didn't heed to your advice. It's my fault. No, my love. It's all my fault. I was carried away. 
I should have listened to you. I cheated on you so many times. I lied so many times. I'm here to beg for your forgiveness. Please, forgive me. I forgive you. I forgive you with all my heart. Please come back home. I miss you so much. Life is so hard without you. My love, please come back. I'm so sorry, Ada. My time on earth is up. I have to go. But please, do me one favor. Take care of my kids. And tell them I love them. My love, please don't go. Please. Are you sure? Yes. So Kelvin. You saw Kelvin in your dream? Yes. Huh. Sister, it's a dream now. It's a male dream. Eh? Kelvin is gone. Eh? He was asking me to forgive him. We were talking and he vanished. Don't worry, it's just a dream, okay? You'll be fine. Kelvin is gone. Huh? Okay. Uh, so, sister, what do you think about I and Olisa? We just finished talking on phone. Let's take a walk, okay? We can talk about it. Sorry. I feel Olisad 